Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. We were on hold on the monorail for a little while. <laughs> yeah, the monorail is not going. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much. Let's see, no reservation today, guys. Let's see. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome in. Good to see you all. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. I think we're just in time to catch the uh, Festival, of Fantasy, Festival Parade. of Fantasy Parade and Ron, yes. who is currently in front of us. Yes. Got a moment? Cool. Oh, yeah, they're, they're right there. They're way over there. What did you do? You, le you left them in Frontierland? You left them in Frontierland? They've got a they've got a giant hamster wheel in the back that somebody's got to run the speed of. Oh jeez. Holy smokes. Well, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Ron. This is Park Hopper, everybody. They're gonna take over. I mean, they're just gonna leave after them. I mean, I like the little light cycle. The cutout didn't really work, right? Really. No. It looks great, though. It does. Yeah, actually, I think I like it better without the little cutout there. Okay. I think it looks good like and that. The other one, this one here, there's some space issues. You can see how there's some spacing issues in it. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, uh, look, she's gonna work on that. So that was just like a template of what we can do. And then that one is just, that's the most simple thing we can possibly do. We can literally make that in like two minutes. Love all the colors. Yeah. So pretty. So, everybody, they're gonna take over. They're gonna watch the parade. I'm gonna head out. So, it's the only. Wrong. Uh, Kevin showed up. Kevin's here? Yeah, right. so this last one. They're making cups. Oh, really? Cups? Something different. That is different. Always I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Sounds okay. good. We'll watch the parade. I'll see you guys Thank later. you, Ron. Catch you. Guys, that's Ron on the go, for those of you who don't know. Uh, he's just finishing up here today. He's been here since this morning. Let's find a spot for the parade. Get up there real quick. All right. Hang on, guys. Let's do this.
So that was the Festival of Fantasy Parade, guys. That occurs at noon and 3 p.m. here at uh, Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World. Let's head on downstairs. Should have known better than to go that way. We always lose signal there, but we are back. <laughs> So Hope welcome you guys in, everybody. We'll see. see how it goes. Uh, for now, it's just a scorcher. So it's welcome in, everybody. It's such a scorcher right now. It's good to see you all here today. Uh, I have the brightness all the way up, and I cannot so see the screen. So do I. All right, let's, uh, let's turn that right around here. You ready? Yeah. Right. Do you want to go in front of the castle? Oh, cool, that's, that's a good view there. Yeah. So hey, guys. Hey, everybody. We are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Yes. Thank you so much to those of you who were saying that you uh, subscribed to us there during the uh, parade. We really appreciate that. Thank you that. guys so much for all the subscriptions. We really do. Um, we just hit 4K the other day. Yes. We are just marching right along to uh, 5K, and it's all thanks to you guys and your support. We sincerely appreciate that. If you are new here and have not done so already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. We don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet. we got to set that up still, so uh, make sure you're subscribed and you ring that notification bell, set it to all, so that you know as soon as we put it up. Yes. Uh, what we're up to tomorrow. Uh, guys, we're going to have a great day here at the Magic Kingdom. We're going to go for as long as we possibly can. Uh, probably till after fireworks and then maybe some shopping or something after that too. So, shopping, yes. Uh, we're going to enjoy just a really long and beautiful day here at Magic Kingdom. So buckle up and be ready for that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Joey says, hey, guys, listening in at low volume while in more budget meetings. <laughs> Hang in there, Joey. You and got thank this, you. Joey. And guys, if you haven't already, if you kindly pop that like button for us, that really helps us out as well. It does. Thank you. And thank you so much, Koala Bear. Yeah, we hit 4K on Sunday. Yes, thank you for all the congratulations, guys. Thank you. Now on to 5K. Let's do it. With your help. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Everybody. We should have the Dapper Dance coming out in the next uh, two minutes or so. All right, so let's go get a good spot for the Dapper Dance. Let's do it. Oh, okay, let's not do it yet. Oh, just really quick. Gotcha. One second. All right, let's go. All right, selfies of the day. Well, oh. some of them. <laughs> if I don't get this selfie in, like, as soon as we get in, I'll forget, and then we never get a selfie. Oh, that's fair. That's usually what happens. That does tend to happen. Plus, I'm going to be melted by the end of the day. I'm already half melted right now. <laughs> the sun was a scorcher up there on the... Uh, Railroad station. Oh yeah, didn't expect the uh, the top to be blocked off for uh, VIP. Well, yeah, if they have a lot of VIP folks, they uh, they block out that area. Yeah. All right. And it wasn't like a hundred percent filled, but enough that they wanted to give those folks uh, their space. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this fixed here. There we go. Get you centered. There we go. Christopher Reed wants to know, Park Hoppers, what's your recommendations on being outdoors in this heat for people like me who are very fair complexion? Well, we are pretty fair complexion as well. We are. Um, this this fan right here is amazing. It it's is. It's such a lifesaver for me personally. I love it. We actually have it. Um, we link everything we use on a daily here out in the parks uh, down below if you're interested at all. But okay. this fan is definitely on there. It comes in different colors too. Um, yeah, this fan's a lifesaver, so I don't like pass out. And it's cheap, which is wonderful. Yeah, affordable. Affordable yes. is like key. I'm just remembering something. <laughs> and sunscreen. Uh, we use our uh, reflective umbrella if it's not too windy as well. That's a great one. <laughs> oh, I Tracy love that. Says, Tracy. Stay home and watch yeah, I just read that. Tracy says stay home and watch park hoppers. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Happy Tuesday, Frank. Yes, Marty M. Sunscreen is so important. Yes. Yes. Let's see here. I think we have forgotten yeah. to do this. Oh no. And while we do this, guys, enjoy the Dapper Dance. Dapper Dance right here, guys. Oh, in all sincerity, uh, Christopher, we hope you make it out to Magic Kingdom yes. to make it to, to Walt Disney World. Definitely. Enjoy the Dapper Dance, guys. Come on, show, everybody. Right here, right now. Come on, show. Right up front. Come on, 
Free. Free? It's free to free do. Show? All the way down the front row. And now 
of the Dapper Dan would like to continue our show by singing a song for all of you that we love ourselves! By Irving Berlin! Yes, it is a beautiful country tune titled She Once Dated a Man with a Wooden Leg, but later broke it off. That's a snappy little number there. Yeah, seven, before we sing that one, can we sing my favorite song? Yep, the love song called I Call My Girl Hinges Cause She's Something to Adore. <laughs> All right, guys, knock it off. I'm going to skip past both of those. I got a great song picked out. It actually reminds me of my wife. Because much like the main character, my wife's practically perfect in every way, too. Oh, Cruella de Vil. Right. <laughs> Very popular. She's Mary Poppins. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, in a glorious day, right as the morning in May, I feel like a
minute and a half. Oh, uh, just America. <laughs> <laughs>
That was awesome. They did a couple of songs we've never heard them do before. Yeah, they always change it up a little. They do. And a couple really of those cool. jokes were new too. That was great. All right, you want to drop by the glass blowers and see uh, when Kevin's going to be uh, doing a display next? Let's go take a look. Oh, that's adorable. There's the little girl's birthday. She's turning eight. Oh, yeah? The doctor Dan was like, how old are you turning today? And she's like, eight. And he's like, eight. That's a great number. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So welcome to Magic Kingdom, everybody. Those of you who came over from Ron on the go, welcome back to Magic Kingdom. Yes. That's a beautiful day. It's a bit hot, but not too bad. Look at the castle. Hey, Soul Spin. Yes, Marty M, the pumpkin is at home safe and sound. We'll put out a, a video of some sort so you guys can see it like real well here soon. Iggy Zoro says, yeah, absolutely. Iggy Zoro says, I like that you guys broadcast entire performances like the Dapper Dance, Mariachi, stage shows, very entertaining. Thanks. Well, of course, Thank you so much, Iggy. Oh, Kevin is currently. So they're making cups today. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, Ron said they're making cups. Oh. Wow, what is that? Look at that. That's a fancy cup. Right? Hey, Disney Nerd Herders. Good to see you guys. Hey, it's beautiful, whatever he's making. So pretty. Kristen used the coffee emoji. <laughs> we just added that one today, guys. How does it look? It's so adorable. I love it. I don't Is know. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. I'm going to post our most recent uh, emojis. So if you're a channel member on here for us, you could use all these emojis. I guess I could just post them all to show yeah. everybody. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty. So, guys, I just posted in chat all our emojis if you're a YouTube member, and we appreciate all the support, guys. How you doing, Kevin? <laughs> Always good. <laughs> hey, Beaker and Honeydew, great to see you guys. Kevin Coda likes the coffee one. <laughs> yeah, isn't it so cute? Oh, wow. I didn't even know they could do that. Yeah, Eric made that for, well, we make all our stuff from scratch. All our images, all, like, everything we use is our own, so. Mm -hmm. Just, Eric made that one today, and it was so cute. <laughs> is that going to be, like, the uh, handle? Oh, I see. Thank you, Martian. It's putting a lot of work into it. Yes. Wow. So back in the heat, it goes. The punty. Hey, you're up there now. Look at that. You see everything. The punty is a piece of glass on a solid rock. It's going to help me switch this cup.
So we just switched that bubble from the blowpipe to a solid rod, and I exposed a hole with the top of this. And now I'm going to work on opening, expanding that glass, and then opening it into, the, into a drinking glass that I'm making. Soul Spin says, is that a white mocha, macadamia nut, coffee cup emoji? <laughs> it could be whatever. Like, that's up for interpretation, but it's definitely a coffee cup or tea cup. You're a drinker choice. But preferably coffee. Wow, that's amazing. You could use that as a cup, you could use that as a base. I think it came out perfectly. I think he's pretty happy with it. Yes. I love how everyone's standing back right now. It's great. You can feel the heat from right here, like from the furnace, from everything. Mm -hmm. Everyone just made like a hole around the area. That's so pretty. The shimmer on it. Mm -hmm. Stunning. That is KED Glass yes. on Instagram. Uh, well, I've been doing this uh, for about 13 years. Yeah. Uh, 13 years? That's, three months. Oh, cool. that's a long time. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Kevin. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Yeah, good. I'll be back in about half an hour. Gotcha. I'm making these, uh, making these cups all day long. I saw that. Bring them out into the shop. Are they cups or mini vases? They're uh, cups. I mean, they're handheld. I would be terrified yeah. to handhold those. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, I would be too scared to drink. I'm so clumsy. I'm like, maybe it's a beautiful vase. It's it's a beautiful cup. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like most 
glasses that people drink out of all day long are thin, you know? That is true. Yeah. Yeah. So That's true. Vases aren't a little thicker. It's just because it's handmade that people feel that way. Yeah. yeah. But that was very beautiful. That was. Well, thank you. I, I really like the way that uh, sparkly green one came out, yeah. so we're going to make a couple more of those. Yeah, it was a stunning color. All right. Are you going to... Are you going to try to sell them as a set of any sort? Or? Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, the, as they get made, um, I'm trying to make them all the same size, but, you know, that's in, in the handmade realm, that's uh, very hard to do. So they're going to be a little different. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it would be nice to sell them in a set. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So this is Kevin, KED Glass Talk, or KED Glass Talk on, KED Glass on Instagram. Marty, I'm just Marty dropped the link. Marty put the Thank link so in much. the chat, guys, so if you want to check him out and share a follow. Yeah. Is that how it said? Give a follow. Give a follow. Give a follow. As well as, guys, if you want anything uh, handmade here at uh, Rivas Brothers, we showed the business card yesterday. Yes. Uh, you can go on to uh, check out that email on that business card. Yeah, they told us that uh, folks, if they wanted to get order something, they could email you guys okay. and then discuss it with you. That's yes. what we were told um, yesterday. So if you want to message me on Instagram, I can probably feel that in the shop. Oh, Instagram okay. as well. Okay. Instagram, Instagram as well, guys. Email the Rivas Brothers. Um, I probably say, better yeah, directly. Probably fine too. It's probably better directly to Kevin though, because he'll uh, he'll get you sorted out. Yeah. Absolutely. So guys. Well, Alicia just followed. Awesome. Thank you thank guys you so guys. much for all the support. Absolutely. All right, Kevin. Have a great day. Have a great day. Catch you next time. Hey, Lucas. <laughs> Are there any new pumpkins here since yesterday? Good question. I don't think there's any new ones since yesterday, but that pink one's really pretty. It is. That little pink one? Yeah. Isn't it cute? It's very cute. All right, let's go see yep. what else. You want to go check out the crazy Cinderella castle? Sounds good. Yes. Let's see if we can find any of those flat ornaments that they made the other day also. Any of the flat ornaments out and about over here. They might here. have sold them all because I'm seeing a lot of globes, but I'm not seeing any of the flats. Oh, that purple one's pretty. We saw that one lane yesterday. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, this is the one we saw. Let me, um. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so. Is it. Oh, it's ridged as well. So it's, it's got textured. a really neat texture to it, yeah. Oh, this one's beautiful. Huh. He does have some beautiful pieces, Alicia, absolutely. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Shimpy. Hey, Shimpy. Let's put that back down there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's kind of like that green one. Oh, yeah? It's kind of like the similar style. This one over here? No, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't look. I was talking about the line. Oh, yes, the line one also, yeah. This one I like because it's, uh, it's got that same sort of texture going on, but it's mm -hmm. translucent. It's very pretty. Tiki Man fans. Hey Tim. Great to see you guys. Thank you guys for being here. We're having an awesome day at Magic Kingdom. Started with Festival of Fantasy Parade, which is always a good start to the day. Oh yeah. And came in here, saw Kevin make a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Um, that you can drink out of. Yeah, a glass cup. So that's okay. new. It started two days ago. Pretty They're awesome. seeking approval to have those out here in the shop, so hopefully we'll be seeing those in the shop soon because it'd be really neat to see those and uh, find out how expensive those are. Yes. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, guys. Oh, there's more of the pumpkins. Oh, oh I look think at the, the pink, pink stem. I think the pink pumpkin with the white stem I really like sold. Oh, yeah? I don't see it out here. Oh, it's here. right over there. Is it still here? Yeah, it's still over there. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. Oh, I love how they uh, wrapped the stem through very, and around Very, very unique. It is. That's the neat thing about the uh, custom things, guys, is that it's always going to come out in a unique way. <laughs> this is the one you're talking about? Yes, I love that one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? I think that's what inspired me for the art pumpkin with the white stem. Mm -hmm. Such stunning colors. It is. Hey, Derek. Derek Jones says, hey, Park Hoppers. Me and my daughter, Aurora, are enjoying the street. Thank you, guys. Well, hello, Derek and Aurora. It's only just starting to... Jay says, I'm in ninja mode, but here. Thank you, Jay, and thank you to all ninja watchers. We appreciate everybody. Thank you, everyone. So that is the $250,000 Cinderella Castle. $250,000. Beautiful, beautiful Cinderella Castle. 
Well, Chris S., uh, so we picked it up yesterday, and at the very start of yesterday's stream, uh, you can see the you can see the pumpkin there, but also we will be posting a uh, video of some sort here yeah, we'll, shortly. We'll post it on our social medias as well, so you guys can see how the pumpkin came out if you weren't um, here in yesterday's stream to see it. Also in higher definition and in better lighting, so. That's true. Hey, golfer. Hey, golfer. It's just so pretty. Hey, Robert. So it's $250,000 because uh, each piece is encrusted with 678,402 handset Austrian crystal stones in the pointage technique, pointage technique, something like that. This remarkable a piece took 3,835 <laughs> hours to complete. Goodness gracious. I mean, I believe it, look at that. It weighs 50 pounds, well, 49.38 pounds. The height is 32.28 inches, which is uh, 820 millimeters. Diameter is 28.54 inches, which is 725 millimeters. And each piece is each piece is made to order with a six-month delivery time. Goodness gracious! It's beautiful, though. So pretty, so sparkly. Mm -hmm. I think that they should do the castle like this, like the the actual Cinderella castle. They should do it up like this for the the, uh, the 100th anniversary. Cinderella Castle down Main Street. Yeah. They, for the hundredth. For the hundredth because it's uh, like platinum. Yeah. You know? They should paint it back gray again. Yes. And then just stud it all the way up and down with Austrian crystals. Wow. Yeah. That would. That sounds cheap, right? Uh, cheap. Yeah, they could do um, that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Maybe not. That's the. But, you know, we're thankful that that's here so that we can take a look at it, because that's really neat. In the next room, all sorts of really neat figurines and such. That's a very good question, Chimpy. I, uh, I hope it's privately driven and then hand-delivered with white gloves. I, I think that deserves a white glove treatment. This dragon is hysterical. I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in on that. Oh, if you wanna show something really quickly after that dragon back there, I found something really interesting. Well, I think it's interesting. Gotcha. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Really neat. I like the Les Paul and the Strad over here. I like the turtle. <laughs> turtle. It's got like a green. Um, like, what was it? Saworski crystals? Has eyes? So pretty. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hey, Zori. Hey, Zori. Only $25 for the little pumpkin. Or the little uh, pumpkin, well, the little, little turtle. Little turtle. Alright, follow me back here. Sounds good. Hey, Shield. Hey, Shield. Good afternoon. Okay, what I thought was really cool is they have this thing called Crystallize Your Memories. So, like, if there's a photo you took here at Disney, you can have it literally, like, inside. Isn't that neat? It is really It neat. says, send us your picture by mail or at our shops and turn your favorite Disney Parks memory into a magnificent work of 3D crystal art. Let the magic happen. I thought that was so cool, especially when you put a light underneath. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. It is really cool. All right. And we were showing this yesterday, and uh, what we also found was over here on the right, yeah. They've got uh, the characters. I'm looking for a Which? glow, but they must have sold it. Which one? They have a Madame Leota, or they had a Madame. Oh, Leota. Madame Leota. And a glow, which was really neat. But now oh, they I have a stitch, I didn't which see I didn't see last year or yesterday. It's awesome. The stitch is new. The stitch is new. Oh my goodness! Did you notice Donald Duck? He has a crab. <laughs> He's got a crab on his tail. On his tail. That's hilarious. I really love this one, obviously, because Eeyore is my favorite. But you got Eeyore, and then you have Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and a heart balloon. Oh, and that's cute. really cool. If you just want to, you know, have something to remember the castle by for your Magic Kingdom trip, isn't that cool with the Mickey firework? It is. It's so pretty. And then again, guys, if you want your photos turned into one of these things, they can also like do shapes, like hearts and other things like that. Yeah. It's a really neat shop. Hey, Manu. 
Hey, Manu. And Zori says, just got back from errands and was given a Disney 100 year anniversary cereal. That's really what? cool. That's awesome. Let us know if it's any good. Yeah. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Okay, so this gives you an idea. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, young lady who uh, had her picture taken for this, but uh, Manu Miura was in a ball like this. Yeah. That was really neat. Like an orb. Yeah. That is really cool. Oh, Alicia says, I have one with Tinkerbell with the light. That's amazing. That is amazing. Those are so pretty. Oh, Starbucks is busy. I didn't know they had earrings, huh? Starbucks is busy. Oh, Starbucks is quite the busy. Oh, wow. There is a proper Stein. That is a proper Stein. How much is it? Probably a proper price. <laughs> let's see. Let's make a guess. Let's make guesses. Okay. okay guesses. I'm gonna say 125. 125. Yeah. Any guesses in chat for the price of the stein, everybody? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna go with one, 110. 110. 110. Okay. Yeah. That's my final guess. Golfer says 139. 139 says golfer. All right. Any other guesses in chat on I'm, this enormous stein? I'm gonna say 75. 75. All right, golf. Uh, let's Hannah see, Anderson Hannah. says 45. 45. Golfer, Golfer says 149.99. Alicia S says 90. Gary says 100. Hello, Bliss. Shield 66 says 100. Uh, Robert Terpstra says 159. Bob B says 59. Karen F says 89. Marnie M says 100. Beaker 90 to 200. Justin Frank 350. Polar Bear 140. Molly 69. Golfer 29 uh, says 149.99. Nettie Boo 129. Zori says 400. Sandy says 50. All right, let's All right, I'm going back to my 125. 125? I'm going to stick with my original I'm, guess. I'm sticking with my 75. Okay, I'm going to stick with 125. John says 80. Here we go, guys. Here's the reveal. Phil says 99. Spencer Tim says $600. All right, it cost... $39. Oh, $39. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all with our guesses, right? Well, we were... We were thinking too, too much Disney. I, I, I think, think so. Adam Up's guess was in it to win it with uh, the Price is Right. He said a penny. <laughs> Hannah Anderson said 45, I think. So I think that was the closest guess that I saw. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks All for right. doing well, playing the Guess the Price, guys. That was fun. <laughs> that was. And Megan's like, whoa, only $39.99? Right? Yeah, like all her guesses were so high. <laughs> Speaker and I just like, we'll take two. <laughs> That's enormous. It is. What good quality, too. It absolutely is. I was going based off the prices of like other cups I've seen at Disney, you know? Yeah. Exactly, Karen. Oh, they're wrapping up the stage show a little bit, I think. Oh, yeah. Do you want to oh. like show that a little bit? If you wish to, uh, Dana was saying, I think Kevin said the flat ornaments was going out in the fall. Ah, that Thank makes you. sense. Shumpy says, very nice store. Do they have Halloween pumpkins? Yeah, we showed some <laughs> of the pumpkins. Uh, Oh, but like jack-o'-lantern style? Yeah, I haven't seen any jack-o'-lanterns. No, not like jack-o'-lantern style. That being said, you can get etchings, so I wonder <gasps> if they could etch a, a jack-o'-lantern jack That would be so cool. Right? Yeah, of course, Gopher. Bubbles. We're going to do all the things today, including get bubbles in Monica's eyeballs. <laughs> I forgot to put my sunglasses on. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Scott, I have a dream. Hey, John. Hey, guys. Exactly. Price is right TV show, we all overbid. watching Happily Ever After tonight, definitely. We certainly will. Hey, Kayla. Oh, Marty, it's warm. Very, very warm. It absolutely is.
fun to catch that show. It is. And the kiddos always love it, so. All right, guys. Yep, a blog. Exactly. Okay, what time is it? 4.26. Let's see. Would you like to uh, grab a coffee, honey? I think you always know the answer to that question. <laughs> is that even a question? Really? Let's go take a look at how bad that. Uh, yeah, let's line see how bad now. the line is. If the line is bad, we'll go on to do something else. But if the line's okay, maybe we'll get a coffee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if it was like coffee time, drop the emojis. <laughs> yes. Meridian's on it. Thank you. Mm. Speaker and Honeydew are like, why ask silly questions there? Oh. I said, I was like, really? Are you asking me that? That's a good like question. Like, you don't already mm. know. Sounds good, Megan. Enjoy your errands. Hey guys, so we hope you enjoyed the glass shop, uh, the Rebus Brothers, as well as the very tail end there of uh, the Magical Friendship Fair uh, stage show. Yes. 
we did cut out right before the fireworks, and I think we were able to catch the last firework as it went off. Yeah, Eric dashed to get into another spot. I was like, where'd he go? I'm like, I looked, holding. I'm like, he's gone. <laughs> I was watching the signal, I'm like, it's holding, it's holding, it's gone. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> Got a turn and burn, as Ron would say. I caught up, though. So guys, thank you so much for being here. We're going to get a coffee here in a second. Uh, something to keep us going throughout the day. We're going to be here all day. Yes. And it's very hot, so I'm going to get something iced. Iced? <laughs> iced. Thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. Thank you, guys. <laughs> James says, time for latte date. We like to party. Snoop Dogg voice. Triple shot, please. <laughs> oh, hashtag triple shot. <laughs> Got it. Well, there's three shots already in the, hey, the white mocha usually. We usually ask for one extra, so it's four in total. Yeah, I, I never, um, I don't know how to put this proper. It, it's at, hard to taste the espresso at past Disney, the Disney, uh, it's very, flavor. like, they don't really put all the coffee that they're supposed to, I don't think. So we always ask for an extra shot. Mm. It's, a, it's a charge, but it's worth it to make sure that our coffee tastes like coffee. Yeah. And not just like cream and sugar. Christopher Rich. Hello, darkness, my friend. I've come to drink with you again. Yes. All shots in the chaser, says Jeff Davis. <laughs> the weather is hot, Christopher Jackson. It is very hot. Very, very hot, yes. Very sunny. <laughs> what is our favorite park at Disney? We go back and forth on this, but probably still Epcot. Wait, yeah, we typically go back and forth between uh, Epcot and Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But, I, yeah, Epcot definitely is our number one. Definitely. Oh, yeah, Golfer, the air conditioning in Starbucks is very nice. Except, it is. It's I don't know, I, I, I still have my fan on because the air conditioning is very not strong right now, exactly like you said. Jeff Davis says, you know what goes great with coffee? What? Bacon on a stick. Bacon on a stick with coffee. Bacon on a stick is more expensive than the coffee itself. Oh, that's true. That is 100% true. Facts. App Collector Hey says, Epcot or Animal Kingdom for me. Yeah, those yeah, are awesome. Nice and relaxing. So he says, Epcot for me, then Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's how we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Caleb's like, feeling hot, hot, hot. Olé, olé. Yes. Very much so today. All right, I don't know. What should I get? You're going to get a nice thing? Do we can share something. I think we can share something, yeah. Yeah, we'll, share, like? we'll share our regular. A regular? Okay. Yeah. You're welcome uh, to... They can honestly, how much is it, Nutty Boo says? I think it's I think, $8. Oh, is it? I like, so. probably around $9 with tax and all. Yeah. Maybe one day, Anton. Yeah. Stay tuned. I mean, we did uh, three parks on Sunday. It wouldn't be too much more to do one more. Yeah. Oh, Spencer Tim says, Monica, have you tried the chocolate mint java frappuccino from Starbucks? I haven't, but that sounds very lovely. <laughs> Jeff Davis says, Nutty, can you put a price on heaven? I think Jeff Davis really likes this bacon on a stick. It seems like it, you know? Marty M says, hopefully they get it right today. Hopefully, Marty M. Would you rather do something like uh, the caramel ribbon frappuccino or something like that? No? Okay. I want a regular. Okay. Yeah. It sounds very good right it now. It does sound really good right now. And we're not going to do the uh, macadamia nut syrup today just because um, I don't think it makes much of a difference, really. That's fair. Let's see. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Kirk. Um, I'm not sure who's playing at Epcot Today's today. It's Tuesday, so... It's it, a local band, then. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer Tim says, Monica, what do you get at Starbucks? I might try it next time. Spencer Tim, well, me and Eric, what we get to share is called the white chocolate mocha. Mm -hmm. We get it iced, no whipped cream, and we always get an extra shot of espresso. Yep. Is that correct? That sounds right to me. Yeah, that's what we share. Because we both really like that drink. We do. If we get separate drinks, sometimes I'll do my matcha uh, frappuccino. Like last with, night. The, with as much matcha, yeah. I was so excited last night. Last night Eric was like, I don't need coffee. And I'm like, are you sure? I was like, are you 100% sure? And then uh, 
you guys were so awesome and sent us super chats for Starbucks. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna get a matcha frappuccino. I haven't had one in so long. It was delicious. If you like tea it's and right. if you like matcha, it's good. All right, we next. Hang on, guys. Hi. Lola? If we can get a venti white chocolate mocha. Do you want that ice? Ice, yeah. It's too hot to not do anything other than iced right now. <laughs> a Monica. And that'll be with an extra shot of espresso. And no whipped cream. If we can have three cups of water and one without ice. Okay. Is that going to be Yes. So guys, we are indeed doing Tron today. We have a Tron reservation. It is for much later on in the day. Much, much later. So stay tuned. So uh, they'll probably call us like an hour before close. Probably. We might end up watching Happily Ever After from the Tron area tonight, so. That would be pretty we'll cool. See. We haven't see done that in a while. Did you want to see? Yes, please. Hey, mouse ears and beers. Good to see you. Where'd you oh, get that? Here. A long time ago? Yeah. yeah. I'm like taking such good care of it because it's like starting to go oh, at the end. Oh, I just take care. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. All, right. All right, let's go get a spot to wait for our coffee. Sounds good. Whatever, it was sitting there. It looked pretty good. Right? There she is. I was like, there she is. Me? Yes. Hey, Phil B. Phil says, new to the channel. Curious how often you all get to di uh, go to Disney. Jealous. A lot. Uh, just about every day now. Yeah, Yeah, almost every day. We come uh, as often as we possibly can. And uh, we uh, we always live stream, so yep. we share all our Disney experiences with you guys. Exactly. So. Let's see. Hey, mouse ears and beers. Oh, Crystal wants to know what... Uh, what she was asking about, and it's uh, Monica's wallet. Oh, my wallet. It's just the um, the stitch one where you put your cards in. Yeah, one yeah. of the uh, RFID ones uh, that uh, Disney sold for a while there. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, my name says, if it's at all possible, could you please write Liberty Bell? Sure. I think we could definitely try to do that. Yeah, for we sure. didn't do that yesterday. We'd love to do that today then. Yeah, great suggestion, Marty. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Let's see here. Nettie Boo says, does white chocolate mocha taste like mocha frappe? I've never had the mocha. Oh, the no. mocha frappe is, this frappe is something different, right? What? It's, well, a frappe is just a frappuccino. Oh, yeah. We don't typically get frappuccinos unless mocha. it's the matcha one that it, I get on very rare occasions. Mocha does not taste like white mocha. They taste uh, very different. You had a mocha yesterday and you didn't like it. Oh, And we had the white no. mocha yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's chocolate flavor. Yeah. I think that's what mocha is, exactly. What happened? Did she call me? Uh, no, she called uh, someone by the name of Drew. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure if she called us because I was looking away and I didn't hear. Gotcha. Oh, Chris says, I don't like white chocolate either. Everybody has different flavor palettes. Yeah, exactly. Sorry says, when we lived in Tennessee, we had Dollywood passes, and we went a few times a week. That's awesome, Sorry. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, no. What's happening here? Oh, the mic was getting caught with my hair. <laughs> Am I holding my phone? Yep. Thanks. Oh, absolutely, Hannah. Every day does get exhausting. Oh, always. But it's still fun, because, you know, we're in Disney and sharing it with you guys, so yeah, always yeah. good. We were live for eight and a half hours last night, eight hours, somewhere in there. Yeah. And uh, we'll be live uh, from the time we went live today till park closed, so. Alicia says, I love mocha. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I love how chocolate, it's just for some reason the mocha, for me personally, left a strange taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, Phil B. Phil B sent us a $3 super chat with a pear with a big thumbs up. Well, thank you so much, Phil Thank B. you for the super sticker, Phil B. We appreciate that. It's very cute. And Shempy has became a park hopper. Hey, welcome in, Shempy. Welcome to the park hopper club, Shempy. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're good. Okay, Probably, huh? I was just going to say, here, we can turn it around and we can watch for when the coffee comes. Yeah. 
I was just going to say, hopefully you enjoy the emoji, Shumpy. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you, guys. Leanne V says, I'd rather be at Disney for eight hours than my office. We totally get that. That is fair. But, uh, yeah, having, yeah. I get you. <laughs> Oh, she said she's got four. Four? Oh, I didn't ask for four. Let me see if I can help her. Yeah. And I'll take four. Where? Right. All right, let's set this down here for a second. All right, we will refill our bottle of water some. Do you want me to drink that down a little bit? Would that help? Or? This one? Yeah. Sure, well, yeah, if you wish. I mean, this is going to easily fill out, no problem. Like, it's not going to be an issue. Right. Yeah, see? They didn't even fill nice. it. You can drink some of these, some uh, okay. ice water. Thank you. So, guys, here at the Starbucks in... Magic Kingdom. This is uh, the cup that they will give you to put ice water in. All right, that's that would me. Be our mocha. All right, I will be back, guys. Sounds good. So, Leanne, these microphones are what we use to communicate with you guys throughout the day, at least until they die uh, towards the, the end of a seven-hour, right? eight-hour day. Awesome. Uh, hey, buddy, they are wireless, so. Cup. We can walk around and you guys can still hear us just like you're hearing it right now. Oh, um, one of these. You're probably hearing her talk right now. That's probably a little confusing. I can but take a other than then. that, it's how we uh, are able to communicate with you Thank guys you. and keep you guys uh, hearing us throughout the day so we don't have to talk so loud. So when we do talk, we don't obstruct anyone else's uh, day. Gotcha. This doesn't, on. like, this is the reason we ask for an extra shot of espresso. Yeah. Because it's so light, like, a, that's like what a normal white chocolate mocha looks like. True. This doesn't, this is not what a extra shot looks like. Sorry, honey. No, it's okay, but that's the reason we always order an extra shot. Gotcha. She wouldn't give me an extra cup, so I asked for a sleeve, because that'll gotcha. help a little bit. All right. What do we yes. have going on? Um, oh, everyone was hearing you talk about getting your coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. Christina, uh, uh, Christina Riley, I'm an intro hopper. I only comment when I feel the need. Your content is so good that I don't have to say much. Well, thank you so much, Christina. Thank you very much, Christina. So guys, here is the white chocolate mocha. Iced white chocolate mocha, one extra shot of espresso. I drank a little bit. I haven't drank too much yet. Oh, okay. I was just hoping to cap it off with the uh, extra cup. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and try the coffee. Sounds good. Cheers, everybody. Hey, DWH072. Yeah. Extra shot is definitely a must if you want to taste any, uh, at all, any coffee in your drink at Disney, at the parks. Yeah, because, like, Normally our local Starbucks, this is how it looks like without paying extra for an extra shot. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to head out? Yep. You want to go see if Neil's performing? Yeah, always. Happy Hour says, my regular is a venti iced caramel macchiato quad upside down. <laughs> What's upside down? I don't know. <laughs> That sounds awesome, though. Do you want a napkin for your cup? Uh, no, thank you, honey. Jeff Davis says an extra shot goes better with any drink, depending on what the shot is. <laughs> I agree with that. Do you want to finish this? Sure, I'll finish that one off. That way we have less things to carry. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are off to Neil. Let's go enjoy Neil. Yes.
they do have a frozen white mocha crystal. Yeah, they and, tend uh, to do um, a bunch of customization there. options. Thank you. Thank you. Good, I hear Neil. Yes. I think he just got a whole round of applause. It does sound like it. It be worth it.
know, Neil, everybody always talks about how fast your fingers are, but I think it's amazing how fast you're moving your fingers and your arms at the same time. You're going from other ends of the piano constantly. And uh, I know you transfer pianos uh, three or four times a week, so I mean, it's, it's not all just direct muscle memory. You just, you, you hit it every time. It's very good. Guys, Neil, at the, this is at Neil Piano on YouTube. The best part is the, the, the oh. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing quite as good as when you get your whole body into it, because that's when we're like, all right, he's really giving it his all right now. <laughs> Thank you, Marty, M, for sharing Neil's YouTube channel. Thanks Guys, so much. please Thank check it out. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. You guys are so nice. I, I feel like that's a, I appreciate that. Please stop that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I really do. It's really nice of you all. Oh, no. Uh, How are you doing? Good. Well, I mean, you only have one more set today. So. One more quick one, and um, then I'm going to go into pub. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a pub stuff? No. No? <laughs> no, I will make my own with my boar's head turkey. Ooh. That's the way. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Swiss. Swiss, oh. huh? Lately, I've been into the, uh, they have a spicy Gouda. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet that's good. Yeah, I yeah. like the spicy Gouda. That's very good stuff. Is head? Is it boar's head? Every, yeah. yeah, whenever we go to the deli of Publix, everything boar's head, because you can't go wrong. And it's it's, it's a little it's bit more expensive, but it's, yeah. So much better. Worth it. it. Worth it. Yeah, so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone on to Publix now. <laughs> It's a good topic. I mean, it's a good topic. It's guys, food, it's it, very important. They, and a lot of people don't live in Florida, or like we miss Publix when we go back home because lot, oh, pub yeah. subs, you know, yeah. that's a thing. Yeah. And a lot of people who don't live in Florida have no idea what we're talking about Just right like now. Like anything from the bakery, like, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna be decent. It is. Or not delicious. Have you ever had the? There's a cheese bread. Oh, really? Like there's oh. cheese in the center? He's in love with this cheese bread. Oh, it's so good. It's is not it It's the, not always it, available. Oh, is it in the, del, is it in the bakery area? It's in, the, in bakery. the bakery. It's a loaf of bread filled with cheese. And you, you can never have no. it. <laughs> you slice that up, you put it in the microwave with a little bit of butter. Oh, it goes so oh, good oh, with it coffee. Needs butter, I'm sure. Oh. Uh, yes, you can't forget the butters. Because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad enough with the cheese, but yeah. You know, Filled with cheese. Life is too short. Life, exactly. Gotta, gotta enjoy everything while you can, you know? Enjoy it. Are you guys oh, going to go into the uh, thing down the street? Are going to go to the flag, ret flag retreat? I think the flag retreat uh, started two minutes ago. Yeah. We might go oh, to the We are headed that. that way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll do that. We'll run over to Frontierland for the cavalcade, uh, do and the uh, hoedown, and, and then, then we'll, we'll try to catch the last bit of uh, your last set there. Okay, we'll try. <laughs> yes. We try. We try new. See you Guys, later. Neil Piano. Thank you so much, Neil. Oh man, Neil is the best, guys. He is. Like so he's Neil is so talented. And if you want to um, other than subscribing on his YouTube channel as support, you guys could also give him cast compliments on the My Disney Experience app. Yep. You know, his name's Neil. He's at Casey's Corner. Yeah, exactly. So that would also be really helpful and really awesome. Yeah, and I, I saw a question about tipping uh, the cast member. Yeah, that's not, not. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would what, be better than tipping. Yeah, that's why I was saying. You know, that's not allowed, but a cast compliment is definitely allowed. And if you guys would like to do that and have the My Disney Experience app, that would be awesome. That would be. So guys, we're gonna catch the tail end of the flag retreat ceremony, and then we're gonna make our way over to Frontierland for the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, the Kicking Cavalcade, the Vamos Cavalcade. Yeah, and if you want to show my phone just so I can show everybody where that cast compliment is okay. in the My Disney Experience app, once you open your app, guys, you just hit the hamburger, the three little lines, mm -hmm. and you go here, and it says cast compliment. And you just click there, and that's where you can give me a cast compliment if you wish to. Absolutely. We appreciate that, guys. And Steve Brown, though, I'm not sure if you can uh, give a cast compliment if you don't have active tickets, but it would be really... Uh... Yeah, you can give a cast compliment anytime. Okay, that's awesome. Yes, I have given many cast compliments. Before like... we had uh, annual passes? Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes, because I mean, you still have Disney experience. I love giving like cast that, so, compliments. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the best things we can say, thank you, you know? Exactly. For what they're, the magic they're making on a daily. Absolutely. All right, guys, enjoy.
Honored Representative. Please join us in welcoming today's Armed Forces Honored Representative from the United States Air Force, Lieutenant Colonel John Trichinotis, all the way from Warner Robins, Georgia. So guys, that was the tail end of the flag retreat ceremony. We showed the uh, full flag retreat ceremony yesterday. Uh, yes. It is a wonderful ceremony where Disney World uh, honors an armed forces representative from uh, the U.S. military. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a very nice thing that they do. Oh, and, and if you guys are, I'm sorry, I just saw Highlander's uh, comment. Gotcha. <clears throat> and if you guys are giving Neil Cass com uh, member compliments, um, it's Baltimore, Maryland. Yep. It's a smaller town in, in Maryland, but he said basically Baltimore? Yeah. I think it was something with a T. I think so too. I just can't remember. And he said like, he's like, nobody knows it by that, but if you just uh, think of Baltimore, Maryland, that's pretty yeah. much it. But Highlander, it's perfectly fine if you just put Neil for entertainment yeah, on Neil, Main Street. Yeah, Neil, Casey's Corner, Main Street Entertainment. They're gonna know. Yep. <laughs> there is not uh, another Neil like Neil, so. <laughs> Highlander says, I'm in Maryland. Towson? Uh, it was something like that, something but I like think that, it had yeah. an H. Timonium. Uh, Marcy Gilbert says it's Timonium. Was it, was it Timonium? It's something. It is something I, I like that. I believe it had an H. There was like an O, a U, an H. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. My memory is <laughs> usually a lot better than this guy's. We'll, we'll ask him next time we see him, guys. Yeah, we'll see him for his last set. Yep. Let's go catch a cavalcade. We yeah. have, uh, it has already begun over in Frontierland, so we'll catch it over towards uh, Liberty Square. Yeah, sounds great. Hey, Mark Rogers. Hey, hey Mark Marcy. Rogers. Hey, Marcy. All right. But yeah, for you guys that, um, you can finish. That's okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You can get thrown away. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say um, thank you so much to everybody who has given you a cast compliment. Absolutely. But yeah, we'll definitely find out the town in Maryland. But he uh, basically said it's Baltimore. I do clearly remember a T. I, I do think it is. I do think it is Timonium. But was uh, it Timonium? Your memory is generally better than mine, so. No, but like Timonium sounds right. It is right outside of Baltimore. Oh, Thurston? No, I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll find out. We will. But yeah, like a few times I've given cast compliments where I don't know where the cast member's from, because they usually write the. Uh, the city where they're from is so tiny. It is very tiny. But if you just say the name and you describe the location, that Disney's be... very good about finding out exactly who that is. Exactly. So, guys, we are headed towards uh, Liberty Square. We're going to catch the Kicking Cavalcade, the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Today is Tron Tuesday. We do have a Tron reservation. Our, uh, well, not reservation, excuse me, a Tron virtual queue. Yeah. Um, we will be riding it uh, later on tonight. It's probably going to be one of the last virtual queues called. So yes. we'll be in that area probably for fireworks as well. We'll probably catch the Tron, well, not Tron fireworks, but the happily ever after fireworks from Tron, which we've done before. It's a really, really neat view. It's so pretty there. Yeah, they'll probably call us an hour before park closed. Probably. Yeah, I think so, JJ Mickey. Like, that's, every time he, Eric keeps saying that sounds right. Yeah, JJ is saying Timonium? Yeah. Hannah Anderson, yes, I believe it's only on the mobile app that you can do the cast compliments. I, I know I, I've always done the cast compliments on the My Disney Experience app on the mobile app. Yeah. I don't know if you can do it on the computer as well. I've never been able to find a place to do it. I'd imagine so, though. Say a quick hello to Tiana. Hey, Tiana. Hey, Tiana. How is it going? It's nice to see you, but we do miss the Muppets as well. Yeah, the Muppets would be cool to see too. All right, let's make our way over to the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, Christy Jane. Oh my goodness, the country bears are out. The country bears? What? Oh my gosh. Eric, everyone.
so strange. Let's head back this way, everybody. So that was the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, everybody. Okay, I think Turk is officially my favorite character in that cavalcade now. <laughs> One of these days, Turk is going to kiss the camera right off the gimbal. <laughs> One of these days. Hi. It's always so funny to see Turk recognize us. So. Have a sip of water and then throw it away. Thank you. Oh, let me take that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Goffer, this is the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Mickey's, uh, he was in the other one that we saw Festival of Fantasy the earlier Festival in fantasy the beginning period. of the stream. Exactly. <laughs> the cold water is going to be a little bit. Yep. Yeah, Matthew, we used to, uh, well, we used to. Uh, we've done a few of them, the uh, meet and greets. It's always a little awkward. But uh, we do enjoy meeting the characters. Uh, there are times that uh, they're not super keen on it. So we, uh, we always want to honor that and uh, be careful about that because there are times that there are families and small children and such that are wanting to meet uh, the characters. So. Will you hold? Yep. Thanks. Do you want to show the uh, pin store a little bit before? Or is it the? It's <gasps> just about to start. Oh, OK. I, uh, I do see them coming this way. Yep. Oh, a bee. It is power hour. Hey, Simon Rogers. Hey, Simon Rogers. Oh, OK. You can send an email to Disney for cast compliments. Yeah, I was like, I'm sure there has to be a way that you can do it without the mobile app. Right? Well, thank you so much, Beaker and Honeydew. We appreciate that very thank much. Thank you kindly, Beaker and Honeydew. Yeah, Matthew, Merida uh, moved to walking, I think, like a week ago or two weeks ago. What happened two weeks ago? Uh, Merida got moved off of the float and uh, began walking. Oh, yeah. I don't but know. But today, the new one, the new thing was that uh, Mary Poppins and Bert were in the show. Yeah, they weren't present for this one. It yeah. could just be that it's, uh, <laughs> it's maybe just a little too hot. Maybe they had uh, some issue backstage or something, but uh, hopefully they'll be back out for the later cavalcade. Yeah, but we'll, we'll definitely see and mm -hmm. find out for sure. Yeah, Ooh, it's you. hot. Hey, it Christian. Is. Hey, Christian. <sighs> so hello, everybody. It's... I really like your braid. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very cute. It's toasty out today. It is. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, Maribel will be taking over the uh, Merida meet and greet, we've heard as well. Yeah. You know, maybe um, Merida needs a break. Maybe. That's very possible. Uh, we'll certainly see her continuing in a lot of the uh, special events and things yeah. like that, though, too. So it'll be good to see that. Oh, Christy Chris Jane's like, I want heat. Send heat waves yes. <laughs> Please to Christy Jane. It's all yours, Christy Jane. It's, it's, it's extra crispy toasty. Yeah. It says it's only 92 right now. But what's the real feel? Oh, I have no idea. A thousand? I'm afraid to look at that. Let me see. Let's see what the weather app says is the real feel of right now. Matthew says, if Judy Hobson was to walk in, I was seeing that I hope to get a rabbit hug. Oh, yes. Uh, real feel says 96 at the moment. Hmm. Yes. That's not bad. I guess I mean, I, it's pretty I, bad for 520 in the afternoon. For 520 <laughs> in the afternoon when the sun is going down, yeah. Let's see here. Oh yeah, Turk, so cute. Like, mm -hmm. if you are watching this back, Turk, thank Turk you so much. is, if you guys don't know, one of Tarzan's besties. Mm -hmm. So, thank you very much, Turk. Golfer got a new dog and named it Merida, just like Merida. That's awesome, oh, that's Golfer. Wonderful, Golfer. Kirsty Jane says, "Thank you. I'll wrap myself up in it." <laughs> The Dapper Rob said, so I double checked, it was revealed at D23 Expo, Zootopia is taking over Dino Line and Animal Kingdom. Oh, was I, that thought one that, blue I thought sky that was ideas? a blue sky idea. Or is that going? Is that a part of like the upcoming D23 Expo? I don't know. Yeah, because be... I know I know the one that happened already, I think it was a blue sky idea, but I don't know in the one upcoming, like what's... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the stitch. What's the stitch? What's the stitch? Hey, Navy Seals. Good to see you again. Hey, Navy Seals. Christian says the real field temperature is magical. <laughs> right there. All right, we should be back now. Back. Sorry, Sorry, everybody. I suddenly got a call. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. 
Let me see if I can prevent that. Hold on just a moment, everybody. We're going to put you on the Be Right Back screen and we will uh, fix that. Yeah. All right, guys, we should be back. Uh, if you don't mind, if you'd please check our uh, lips, make sure that our words are synced and everything. Uh, we were just trying to prevent uh, calls from coming through again in the future while we're live streaming here. I don't know if that worked or not, because it should have already not happened, but... Hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for saying that we're back. Thank you, guys. All good. Excellent. All right. Interesting. All right. So, guys, we're going to turn around. Enjoy the... NSYNC, awesome. Thank you, Marty. Enjoy the, or not cavalcade. Goodness, I'm thrown off now. Enjoy the hoedown, everybody. Got about two minutes. I believe. Thank you, Beaker 22. Yes, guys, make sure your live button is red and your resolution settings are on 1080p. Exactly. And if you're on a mobile device, just hit that wheel gear, go to advanced, and then hit 1080 from there. Yep. Thank you guys for all the feedback. Thank you guys. Oh, that's so cool, Matthew. Hi, Inez. Great to see you. Matthew says, I've been watching and reading videos and stuff about Disney vacations for the, no, yeah. before you go. That's that, really Yeah, that's idea. what I was saying, that was so cool. Oh, gotcha, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Hey, Kenneth, hey, Vicky. Oh, sorry about that, Caleb. Sometimes we miss things. It, yes. it is very difficult to read and run around uh, the well, park all day. It, it, like the thing, especially with the uh, Sunday portions is, it's hard to see the screen. That's true, the screen yeah. does dim quite significantly. Dale is over here saying hello to a baby. That's a Oh, Dale's already here? I was facing away from the sun. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. Hey, Dale. <laughs> well, well, Dale Bowser. said hi to everybody, so yeah. that's cool. Good to see you, Bowser. Glad that you finished your run. Andy, thank you so much for going Ninja. We appreciate that. Oh, here comes the hold down, everybody. This is a walkway! What are you doing?
Alright guys, let's go catch Neil for his last set of the day. Yes, off to Neil. And then we're going to head towards, uh, what, the Liberty Bell next? Yeah, the Liberty Bell afterwards for sure. Alright. Let's go. And we're off. Matthew Taylor wants to know park hoppers. Do you guys have this dance down as well as Ron does? Uh, I don't think so. I think Ron is the master of the of dance. The dance. <laughs> hey, Ryan. There's that tricky camel. Oh no, you're gonna get squirted. You certainly make it wet. That is always a possibility over there. Good evening, Caitlin Crowds. Good to see you. Oh, I'm leaving Monica again. There we go. There she is. Oh no. And uh, Marco, we speak very, very little Italian. I like mostly understand it when it's being talked to me in person, but I'm not like super great with uh, reading and writing it. Yeah, and I think Marco was uh, thanking us for some uh, streaming tonight or something like that. But well, I'm, I've yeah, because never... I responded like we um, we understand Italian very little. Yeah. Yeah. What very little of Italian that I'm aware of is just because it's got Latin basis, so you can kind of get an idea. Oh, that's fair. But that's about it. I think Marco saying he's from Tuscany, if that's, oh, that's correct. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Grazie. <laughs> Grazie. Thank you for being here. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Theo Samigo. <laughs> hey, Prince Potion. Theo Sam Eagle, oh uh, goodness, what was it? Oh, the Dapper Dance earlier. Yeah? Said that they had a beautiful three and a half hour rendition for the countries of the world. We only have one and a half minutes. Oh, then just America. Oh yeah. It was a, a Muppets quote, it was awesome. That was a very awesome. much, yes, Muppets. Sam the Eagle moment, it was awesome. Hey Liam. Hey Liam. Hey Sam. Yes, of course, happily ever after tonight. Oh, yeah. Of course. All right, guys, let's catch Neil, and then we will head back over for the Liberty Bell. Is that a poodle? I see a poodle. You see a poodle? I see a poodle. Oh, that is a poodle. <laughs> a poodle service dog. I don't know. Very cool. I hear we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> Here, let's come around the other way. Yeah. I see a crowded crowd for Neil. Is that Not a many bird? people in the hub area no, today, though. There's not. Do you see the bird? What though? happened? Oh, it's yes. Bird. We saw. He's just chilling right there. We it's saw like, one of those kinds what? of birds the other day eating a corn dog that yeah. fell off a tray. He's like, what? You guys got food for me or something? <laughs> Highlander's like, I hear Neil. Yes. Did you see Bicker and Honeydew's <laughs> message there? No, I didn't. Not hitting the like button or subscribing is extremely unpatriotic. <laughs> Quote from Sam the Eagle. That's awesome. That is awesome. Da, we don't da, talk da, about da, da. who? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, there's a large crowd on this side too. There He's is. just attracting He's a big crowd today. Oh, the crowd from the other side has shifted, so we'll Neil make our way. Neil is super popular today. Make our way to the other side there. I mean, he's always popular, but like, yeah, today the crowds are high. Hey, Levi. Hey, Levi.
Sorry about that. Great job, Neil. All right. studied classical and jazz? Yes, I have a master's degree in jazz piano. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. But that doesn't explain the, uh, what was it? Uh, I heard vanilla ice on the piano earlier today. What? Vanilla ice? Ice ice baby, a little bit of ice ice baby. Oh, I didn't do ice ice baby yet. <laughs> yes. Where were you at? <laughs> Which show were you at? I exactly. I knew that one at the piano bar, but I don't do that one here. Oh, no, that's that's just what I was asking Monica because uh, she went and got us water the other day. That's what it was. There you go. <laughs> Master's degree. Goodness gracious. So, Neil, guys, Neil has been playing the piano for over 50 years now. 50 years. And that's why when you guys see him on the piano, you'll see his fingers flying and he'll still be taking selfies with people that want to get a picture. <laughs> he'll still be telling people about his day. Uh, like, if you want to talk to Neil, you come up, you can talk to him while he's playing the piano, and he won't budge. He'll continue going. You were taking selfies, playing the piano, all at the same time. And this is the end of his day, guys. He's been working all day, and we're in the way right now from him getting backstage and going home. Uh, you can't stop me. <laughs> and Neil, we were talking about cast compliments earlier, and we're like, okay, I was remembering Baltimore, Maryland, but what is it? Timonium. <gasps> Timonium. Uh, you know what? You know Everybody what I did? was right. I put Baltimore. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, guys, so you can just put Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Baltimore okay. County is easier for people to know. You know, they're like, oh, what's Timonium? If you're from there, you know Timonium. But now true fans will know that Neil is from Timonium, Maryland. Yes. <laughs> what? I said now the true fans will know that Neil is from Timonium, Maryland. <laughs> It'll be an inside secret. Yeah, Everyone will be like, where, where is he from? mom and my brothers are still there, so that still counts. Good. <laughs> How's the weather up there right now? Pardon? How's the weather up there right now? Are they doing pretty good? It was nice there this week. It was like 75 yesterday. Jeez. We'll trade them about 10 degrees nice for 10 time, degrees. It's a nice time of year up there. <laughs> it's a nice time of year in Maryland. Good. Four <laughs> months ago? <laughs> two months ago? Still snow two months ago? <laughs> oh, man. We have, we have a question for you, Neil. They want to know if you know Calvert County. Calvert County. Calvert yeah. County. Yeah, yeah, that's, yes. that's a ways away from where I live. But yeah, that's, I think that's, 
I'm not even gonna pretend like it. It's 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 not near where I live. I have lived in Florida all my life, and there are so many counties here. If you ask me, oh, where know. is this you or know. that? And like, I get to Orlando. The when you go to like choose your list on a, yes. on a website, you're like, okay, what's your county? Like, really, you gotta I gotta go way down. I used to be like Mount Orange County. Yeah, you got Lake Orange and Osceola right here. So I mean, yeah, I know. Lake Orange. Can we, we just say Disney World? You know. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Neil, it's always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure to yeah. see you guys. Have a great night. You guys, too. If you guys want to catch Neil, you can find him on YouTube at Neil Piano. You can also find him here at Casey's Corner numerous times throughout the day, up until 5:30 as his last set. It usually ends about 5:45. Uh, and then tomorrow and Thursday, you can catch him over at the Rosen Crown Pub in Epcot. I remembered the name this time. I was like, proud is of it, that. I, I looked at it. I'm like, is he going to remember the name this time? I saw both sets of eyes. I'm like, I'm not going to mess it up. I'm not going to mess it up. It was funny. I was, there was some, we were, my girl and I were watching some show and like, it was one of those uh, Netflix series or whatever. And all the, and like, the, um, I think it was about the interrogations. I forget what it was called, but anyway, like uh, they they were go they all got together after work and they all went to the Rosen Club. Oh, that's awesome. funny. Because of course it's you know it's set in England or whatever. So but anyway, all right, you guys. Talk Have a you. good one, Thank Neil. You so much, Neil. Thank you. Drive safe. All right, guys, let's head over to uh, the Liberty Bell. Yes, Liberty Bell. This trying to pat away some of the excessness of uh, heat on my face. <laughs> Sounds good. It's a hot one for sure. Yes. Our pleasure, Highlander. Enjoy dinner. Oh, it looks like we might get some rain still today. We'll see. I think rain might be headed this way. The sky looks really neat though. But yeah, those are definitely storm clouds coming. Yeah, Caleb, no worries. Thank you so much for uh, using lowercase. We do appreciate that very much. Hey, Sierra, welcome in. Hey, Sierra. Hello. Oh. That's got to be worth something to smile at the baseline. All right. So, guys, that is the end of Power Hour. There are still two more... Uh, types of entertainment remaining before it's strictly down to rides and shows here at Magic Kingdom. Those are the. Oh, look at the Disney deck sleeping. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Those are but these. I was like, they're so cute. <laughs> Those are the 625 Adventure Friends Cavalcade as well as the 635. Uh, hold on. We'll do our best to catch those, but until then, let's go catch a boat. Yeah, it might be the rainy day cavalcade if it's raining at that point, absolutely. Alicia's like, Disney ducks. They're so cute. They are. Sorry says making dinner and watching. Well, thank, thank you so you much. So much. Hope you enjoy your dinner. Absolutely. All right. So guys, we are making our way to the Liberty Bell. We're gonna take a ride around the rivers of America, and then we're gonna head out and do some more uh, stuff. So if you guys are excited for that, that's awesome. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a Liberty Bell. We've done it only one other time. Yeah. It's a really neat and relaxing uh, attraction here at Magic Kingdom, and it's right there, so let's go catch it. <laughs> we gotta catch it quick, though. Or it'll take off with us. Hang on, Liberty oh, Bell, here we come. <laughs> I was following you. I, th and I thought I you were. I didn't see you avoid that pole. Oh, you ran right into the pole? No. Honey. <laughs> Almost. Hey, 
Jonathan. I like the idea. And guys, this is a very relaxing attraction, but we will certainly be doing uh, some more. We have till seven to get on here, by the way. No, I understand that, honey, but it's here right now. Yeah. Uh, and then it allows us to come back and catch the Adventure Friends Cavalcade. Oh, true. And then the hoedown. Gotcha. And okay. then we can go around and do other exciting things as well. We've got Tron ahead of us, guys, and other really cool stuff. So Up here. Wherever you'd like. Yeah, and Tron will be later tonight. Yes. We're not sure what boarding group is currently being called, but we're we're a very high number, so. <laughs> hey, Charlie's Travels. Hey, Charlie's Travels. So hey guys, hey. pardon my uh, my 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 uh, sweaty. It's a toasty sweatiness. one. It's warm it's, and toasty. It's good to see you all. Thank you for being here. We are Monica and Eric. We're the park hoppers. We go live from the parks all the time now. Yes. We're here on the Liberty Bell. It's been a while since we've done this. We look forward to doing it. Uh, it's going to take us around the rivers of America. We're going to be able to see uh, Thunder Mountain. We're going to be able to see the uh, train, hopefully, as it's going by, because it's always really cool when they do a kind of a horn battle. Yeah, the railroad. And uh, we also uh, will be able to see a really cool perspective on the Haunted Mansion as we come around as well. A lot yeah. of cool stuff to see from this uh, Liberty Bell, guys. So if you are excited about that or many things to come, including Tron, because it is Tron, Tron Tuesday. Tron Tuesday, yes. Or the fireworks from the Tron area, because I think that's probably where we'll watch it tonight. Uh, we'll be seeing Happily Ever After with Tron music, which makes it really epic. It's a really epic experience. You'll also be able to see Tron going by the roller coaster yeah. uh, while the fireworks are going off. It's really cool. That's true. Uh, guys, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Pixie Dust, we honestly aren't sure how long the Liberty Bell ride is. It's, it's about 15, 20 minutes, I think. I would say about 20 minutes mm -hmm. from when it starts. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yes, and we hey, may... Melissa. Uh, hey, Melissa. Yes, we may hit some lag while we sail. Yeah. We will be getting you guys back as quickly as possible anytime we do. Uh, just buckle up, everybody, and enjoy the Liberty Bell. Uh, also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that very much. And guys, we will be enjoying our cruise here. Well, not cruise. Was it a cruise? It is a cruise. It's but, a river cruise. But there's no ice cream. And tropical drinks. I didn't say it was like a luxurious cruise. Oh. It is a cruise though. 17 minute ride. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Yeah, still about 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And guys, uh, also later on tonight, of course, we'll be doing Tron. We'll be doing some more exciting stuff. Uh, we look forward to doing that with all of you. Mm -hmm. And JJ Mickey, that was awesome. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah. I lost my train of thought again. I'm sorry, I'm so I laughed because <laughs> I read JJ Mickey said, so is that Flynn Rider? Oh, okay, yeah. Need to shave <laughs> a little bit. I thought that was funny. Regardless, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we will uh, be setting sail here very shortly. I kind of thought we caught it just in time because I saw... I was like, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. We don't have to, like... Well, we needed to catch it because once it leaves, you have well, to wait for. It. We did catch it. And now we it's did. not moving, still. So. Yes, honey. Now I'm sorry. What? Now what happened? I apologize. <laughs> anyway, scary. guys. So enjoy the cruise. Let's do this. It's uh, yeah, it's almost 6 p.m. Thank you so much, Marion. Here we go, everybody. Let's turn it around so you guys can start to see some stuff. Yeah. And then, honey, if I'll have you hold this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mary. Mm. Ooh, let's not drop this into the uh, water there. That would be bad. Ron on the go says, let's see some stuff. This is stuff, Ron. This is Disney magical stuff. And it says gator swamp. It is like gator <laughs> color. So guys, we will be uh, enjoying this cruise as soon as we set sail. 
Yeah. I do see the cast members are heading this way, so. We I should be on the move soon. Absolutely. There's the front of the boat. <laughs> Does anyone know what the front of a boat is called? The front of the boat. The front. Hey, the mayor. Let's see if I can do this. Hey, Sierra. Uh, Jeff Monde says the frony. The what? Is it called the frony? Christopher Jackson says the bow. Is that is that right? Jeff Monde says front. Me too. I say that as well, Jeff. I, Charlie's I, Travel says bow or bow. I do believe the front is called the bow, and I do believe the back is called the stern. Yeah, that sounds right. I usually just say front of boat, back of boat. Trying to get the and Marty like, bow, bow. Oh gosh, now I'm saying it all wrong. Oh. Melissa says, starboard. Starboard. <laughs> it's starboard oh. left and right. Here we go, guys. I think we are on the move. We are about to be. Oh, we got uh, blurry a little. It's focusing on the... It's going to focus on whatever's oh. closer to it. Yes. Charlie Travel says, aft is back. The aft is the back, you're right. You guys know your boat stuff. Let's see. Me, not so much. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get everybody on the monopod here. Yeah. Okay, this is not... I don't know what I could help. Just like, uh, let go? Let go? Gotcha. All right, I could do that. All right, here we go. Get everyone clicked into position. Mayor is saying the stern is the back. So what is the difference between the aft of a boat and the stern of a boat? Or a ship, I should say. One's the front and one's the back? What? No. No? Okay. <laughs> hey, Matt to the bone. Hey, Matt to the bone. Good to see you. Oh, goodness. Trying to get the bag back on now. Thank you. Yeah. Last call. Secure all cargo. All passengers aboard. We're here. Cargo secure. All passengers aboard, sir. Last call. All hands stand by. All right. Engine room. Reverse one quarter. Bow. Bow. Aye, aye, sir. Bow line away. Engine room. Head one quarter. Sound last bell. Ooh, Kevin says this brings back memories from when I got to be the pilot of the livery bell? Wow. What? That's awesome, Kevin. That's really cool. Where's my phone? It's in my pocket again. Why? Because you keep giving it to me. Oh. But you're supposed to hand it back to me. Hey, Sheree. Spectra says, Stern is the back outside. Passing by the Frontier Trading Post where there's a lot of pins. That is the pins. If you guys back like want to find awesome pins, the Frontier Trading Post is where to go. They have like all the pins there. Well that makes sense, Trio. 
So it says fore and after directions, bow and stern are parts of the boat. Before we get too much further out of port, I think I should mention that... Oh, Chrissy Chain says my dad was the, in the Merchant Navy. Very cool. I think they're hoping that someone's going to play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> JJ Mickey said the galley is in is in the kitchen. And Cherie says the right side is starboard and the left is port side. That's absolutely correct. Good evening, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, Spectra says my dad was in the U.S. Navy. Very awesome. A special shout out and thanks to those who have served who are serving and their families for everything. Thank you, guys. Oh, wow. Chrissy Jane says, my dad made his only trip to America to New York on his ship. Wow. That's amazing. And then the mayor is saying a lot of words that sound like ship terminology. He says, boat turns, hold, <laughs> bow, stern, helm, port, starboard, transom, aft, forward, underway, cleat, trim, navigation, light, anchor. There's Thunder Mountain, everybody. Yes, Shield. The most important things are the head and the. Uh, oh, we're going to spoil the stretch I saying. The. Uh, the galley, yes, exactly. Alright, I want to see the, the rail, the train. Here it comes, I think. Thunderbolt? Yeah. There, there it is, there it is. Doesn't look like a bad weight on Thunder Mountain at all. No? Hey, Mikaya. Hey, Mikaya. So much wildlife. Oh, yeah, the bird setting itself on the rock? Yes. Alright, I hear a train coming. I hear a train. Where is it? The restroom, the mayor. I wonder what's in that little, little cave right in, like, there. <laughs> That's where they keep the Yeti. The Yeti? Yep. The Yeti fits in there? Well, the whole point is that the Yeti's in there and can't come out, right? Gotcha. Or maybe that's the goat's house. The goat? I would say the goat. Goat. 
Oh, Zori's making quesadillas. What? Oh, I'm sorry, we're in Frontier Land still. Quesadillas. Mm. That sounds amazing, Zori. Enjoy. Oh, there's a train again. So cool. It's always really neat the views you can see from the Liberty Bell. Yes. Maybe there's Thunder Mountain up top. So cool. Good evening, Kurt. Ooh, Sheree had fajitas. Look the fajitas. Captain. It's Pete and Joe. Old Pete has been marking this river for long than I can remember. Every time the river cuts a new channel, wait, what's wild? The wildlife? Oh. However, Sam is a bright which came to show he can navigate the Liberty Bell on any day. Isn't that so sad? Well, that was corn humble, Captain. Mostly it's alligator swamp. Alligator swamp. Ooh, I hope the uh, railroad comes by. Because that's the tracks for the railroad right there. Right. And we're making our next turn, everybody. Sarah says, I believe that this ship runs on a track that is very narrow based on my understanding. Is that correct? I believe you are correct, Sierra. Actually, you could see the track for a while because they had this, the whole Rivers of America drained for a while, uh, what, two years ago, a year ago? Yeah. It's really neat. There's a dog in there. Did you hear him? I think so. Sounds like a dog. It's an interesting. I think I see some deer in there. Is that the train or is that us? That's us. Oh. That other village off the port has been here a while. Most of the Indians along the river don't quite know what to make of our steamboat. They call it Cardinal Walk, which means fire. But because of the smoke and sparks pouring out of our house now. And the first time we passed this way, they thought it was the return of one of their deadliness. So cute. So cute. Just beyond the village of that hill is their sacred burial ground. And those who call it the mountain is the Oh, it is the burial ground. The thing I was asking you about the other time we were on the boat. Yeah. Hey, grasshopper's wife. Hey, grasshopper's wife. Good to see you. Hope you had a great day at work. Absolutely. And hopefully Grasshopper is still healing up well. Yeah. Attention deck one, controls to port and start. Engine room, steady up. We're entering the shallow water, but uh, there's no cause for worry. Sam knows every shoal and shallow, every snag and sandbar in this part of the river. He will navigate us through the safe water. You wouldn't steer it wrong, would you say? I believe we ought never to do wrong, Captain. Especially when others are looking. Leadsman, sing out. Let's go check the other side of the ship. Way before, know that the water can get fairly I know, but 
but it was like swarming there. And I'm wearing bright colors. Oh, that's right. So I just made a little cautious. Body some sort there. Hey, Gerard. Hey, Gerard. Hey, movie minion Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey, love pugs. Hey, love pugs. This is something we don't get to see very often at all. Captain, we're Here passing on through the corner. Attention deck crew. Through corner. Stay alert. If there's river pirates out here, this is where they'll most likely be. Uh -oh, I can hear them from here. Uh, through all the commotion, it sounds like their interests lie elsewhere. It's down in that cove right there, see? That's where the river pirates are. Sounds like the river pirates are celebrating. Hey, Mr. Trotter. If you folks on deck look past the trees on the island, that's Fort Langhorn. Most of these old forts started out as trading posts. Then as settlers started to head in the west, the army came in and took them over. My feeling is, these days, there's a lot less frontier and a lot more civilization than is truly necessary. That's the fort right here. It's a fort, man. Eh? You know, made out of wood? That's the fort. Otherwise, it'd be a fort. Hey, brain jeans. Frame dreams. Good to see you, Lewis and Sylvia. Yeah, this is so cool. It's a nice, like, way to see a little bit of we don't normally see at Magic Kingdom. Grasshopper yeah. says through Grasshopper's wife's uh, account. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my chat wasn't working, but hello to everyone who said hello to me. Hello, Grasshopper. Hello, Grasshopper's wife. Hey, guys. And hello, little Grasshopper, if you're still there as well. Let's go see yeah. the continent. I'd say the ones telling those tales are the ones filled with spirits. What proof? Just ask me. They got it. About a hundred proof, I reckon. And whatever you do, don't strike any matches if you aim to read in your direction. Or you won't just be seeing ghosts, you'll be joining them. That's a really pretty view of Haunted Mansion. And you can see uh, Rapunzel's tower out there on the right too. We're approaching Liberty Square, which is home port for us. We'll be putting into dock shortly, so those of you on the upper two decks might be of a mind to collect all your parcels and head to the lower deck. We've got youngins who want to take them in hand before they get out of hand. On behalf of the captain, myself, and the crew, thanks for flying in the waterways with us. I hope I see you next time around the river beach. Thanks, Sam, and uh, thank you, everyone, for traveling the rivers of America with us today. Engine room. Brooks Levy at one port steam. And the battle line. Purser, check great cargo. All hands prepare to dock. All passengers, stand by and go ashore. All right, I love guys. how you can see Cinderella's castle as well. Oh yeah. We are about to return to port. We'll be stepping off of the riverboat and getting ready for the last cavalcade of the day, the last parade, the kicking Vamos Adventure Friends cavalcade. Look forward to seeing it.
So Cake Toast Tucker, this river cruise takes you all around the rivers of America here. You get to see a lot of really neat sights, see some things that you don't normally see from the perspective that you see it, including Thunder Mountain, Haunted Mansion. Uh, looks like Rapunzel's uh, tower was out there in the distance at one point. The castle you get to see from an interesting perspective. You get to see some Indian uh, uh, like uh, tribes, their uh, teepees, and uh, there, there's two different types of teepees out there as well. It's really neat. So we will disembark from the next floor down below us. What? We disembark from uh, the first floor. Uh, it's right here. Where we got on? Oh, we have to go down? I believe okay. so. Well, then I'll follow you. I mean, we'll find out in a moment. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, Steven. There are two McAllisters in here. Do you guys have anything to do with the uh, McAllisters oh, the uh, deli. sandwich deli shop? <laughs> Oh, there's Stevens like sadly no. <laughs> yeah, I know Matthew. Alright. Back up there. We might have to go downstairs. Yeah. I just remember needing to go downstairs, but we'll see. As Steven says, I'm more of a Jersey Mike's guy. <laughs> Jersey Mike's makes some really good subs. Oh, that's very fair, Jeff Davis. The Home Alone family were the McAllisters. So everyone's heading downstairs. Don't watch this right <laughs> Alright guys, in about four minutes the uh, the kicking cavalcade begins. It is the last cavalcade of the day. Yes. Oh my and goodness, I wonder if Turk's gonna give us kisses again. Oh no. Yes, more kisses. <laughs> I love Turk. <laughs> Steven says I do have a brother named Kevin. That's awesome. Has he ever thwarted any home invasion attempts? <laughs> what happened? Steven says, I do have a brother named Kevin. Oh, yeah? Kevin McAllister is the little boy in uh, Home Alone. Oh, gotcha. Steven says, no, he's never thwarted any home invasion attempts. Cake well, Toast like... Tucker says Park Hoppers. Is that the name of the cavalcade song? Vamos? I don't know, but if it's I, not, I, I think it should be. I do believe it is called Vamos. We call it Vamos. Exactly. I'm not sure about the official title though, guys, so <laughs> sorry about that. Alright, let's see. I'm curious about whether or not we're going to get the, uh, well, I mean, it's not raining yet, so I would assume we'd get the Adventure Friends Couple Gate. Yeah, I think so. The weather looks just fine for it. Unless I jinx something, which would be bad. <laughs> and we'll get ready for the cavalcade right about here. Steven says, did it cool down there or is it still 90 degrees? It's cooled oh, down, it's only it's 91 now. It's cooled down so much since the sun has gone down. Yeah. Thankfully. 
It's gone from 92 to 91 right now. Yeah. Dapper Rob wants to know, are you two going to do any Halloween parties this year? We'd like to. We, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, we're not, we're not quite sure yet, but we'd love to. Yeah. So someone was asking uh, what Tron boarding groups we're boarding. It is 120 to 136 right now. We're still a long ways off. Yeah, so I mean, they'll probably call our group, I would assume, about an hour before park close. Probably thereabouts. It is 91 right now, Jeff. Yep. Can I have you unbuckle these two here, honey? The top or the, the bottom? The top two, yep. Thank you. Yeah. Much appreciated. Well, let's do the bottom one as well, if you don't mind. Yeah. Got it? There we go. I got it. It's a little more difficult. Yep. All right. Excellent. There we go. Let's keep that on this side of the yellow tape. And we're good to go. So we should be seeing the Adventure Friends Cavalcade coming down in just a minute. Oh, Cake Toast Texture says Park Hoppers. According to the Google, the song is a new version of Vamos from Move It, Shake It, Celebrate It, plays, setting an energetic tone. Oh, that certainly does that. Yeah, I love that song. So after this in the hoedown, do you want to go check uh... Thunder Mountain, see what the wait's like over there. Yeah, for sure. I think I hear the cavalcade. It's on its way, guys. So guys, this will be the last cavalcade of the day. There are no more parades or cavalcades after this one. And then there will only be the hoedown afterwards. And then we're all done with the uh, entertainment outside of the rides and attractions here at Magic Kingdom for the day. Make sure that this is good here. <laughs> here it comes. So if I can get a zoom on them.
so that was the Adventure Friends Cavalcade again, guys. This time we got Jeannie's attention. Yeah, Jeannie <laughs> said hi to us. So guys, we're going to hang out here. We've got five minutes before the last hoedown of the day. Yes. We're going to enjoy that, and then we're going to go check out and see what the wait time is like over at Thunder Mountain Railroad, the, yes. uh, the wildest ride in the wilderness. We'll have to take off our hats and glasses. That is important. And we'll put you guys in baby Yoda mode for that one. We will? I think we'll have to. Okay. But yeah, Jeannie said hi to us this time. That was so cool. That was. So hello everybody, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Yes, we were mix uh, we were missing Bert, Mary Poppins, Max Goof, and Pocahontas today. Well, yeah, there was a lot. Maybe it's very hot for them. It's, Might be. it's very hot. It's very humid. So Absolutely. sounds good, Mary Carol. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. Kayla McAllister, that's entirely possible. Max Goof uh, <laughs> could be in Hollywood Studios right now with oh. uh, with Goofy. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes, Isaac Nail does a wonderful job with the chats, uh, with the lyrics and such. It is towards the end of uh, a semester for college and such, and he is in college. Yes. So he may be uh, dealing with some finals right now. So that makes sense. Simon says, I prefer it to be called Rue Mode. That's fair. Thank you for taking us around the rivers of America, Liberty Bell. Uh, uh, get on the ramp. And go. Yeah, I see it. Margaret says, Ginny was supposed to grant you a wish, but it was all about him. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you so much, Marty M. Yes. Let's uh, turn it around again. Yes. The mayor, thank you so much for becoming a member. We really appreciate that. The mayor is now a park hopper. Thank the you, mayor. The mayor is a park hopper. We hope you enjoy the emojis. Thank you so we much. We sincerely appreciate that, the mayor. Thank you so much. Yes. We have a lot of emojis. We do. Including... The coffee our and faces. the... Oh, oh, yeah. Our oh, faces. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the coffee. The coffee is more important. And Tron. And Tron. Yeah, we have a Tron light cycle on there. We've got a coffee cup. We have a sparkly eyes. We have a sparkly eyes. We need to fix that one though. We need to make it need to make it more interesting, I think. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll fix that one. Mm -hmm. Hey, Eduardo, from Brazil, live in huh? Rio de Janeiro. Your channel's awesome. Well, thank you oh, so much, Eduardo. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Rio de Janeiro. That sounds amazing. Yes, sounds beautiful. We've hey. never been. <laughs> hey, Eidos, thank you so much for leaving your name and your uh, hello. We yes. really appreciate that. Hello, Eidos. It's good to see you again, Eidos. I don't think they had new people in the uh, in the cavalcade, uh, Herbie. I think it was all uh, a lot of the same, yeah. but uh, there were a few people missing. Yeah, there was just some uh, some characters missing. <laughs> I assume it's because it's too hot. Yeah. It's very hot. It's a hot day. It's cooling down finally now that the sun's behind some clouds. It's just so humid. Yes. But it's been a beautiful day otherwise. It has. Oh, they're taking up the tape right now, guys. Make sure that we're not on the way for that. So guys, well, Monica's, oh, okay, I get you. What happened? I was just like, I'm not sure what Monica was uh, oh, I'm just. Oh, I was just working on uh, getting the Instagram post up because I went live Gotcha. for the cavalcade. Understood. Well, while Monica's working on that, guys, we are the park hoppers for Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. All the time. And uh, we'd really appreciate it, guys, if you'd please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you guys along again with us in the future. We will probably be going live tomorrow, and we're not really sure where just yet or what we're doing. So stay tuned for that, everybody. We'll be posting out that live uh, notification as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. We'll go home, think about it, put it out there. We're not going to go home until like 11 or 12 tonight. Yeah, it's going to be like, a really long, late hour. yeah, because we got to like enjoy the fireworks. we got to enjoy Tron. Yeah. All that good stuff. So uh, we'll do something tomorrow. Just got to stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure your yeah. notifications are on all so that you uh, get the notification for that. Mm -hmm. And you can find it tomorrow. We'd love to be able to take you guys along. Mystery hopping. How very intriguing. 
I don't know that it'll be that interesting. Oh, really? I like that, though. That's a great name for it, Simon. Mystery Hopping. Mystery Hopping. I like it. Sounds cool. With all that being said, guys, we are about to enjoy the hoedown. We hope you guys enjoy it with us. Oh, oh turn also, around. Here if, comes Chippendale. Okay. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. We'd really appreciate that, everybody. So that was Dale. That was Dale. Get ready for the hoedown, everybody. Here we go.
Shoulders, knees, and toes there for a little bit. That was awesome. So that ends the cavalcades, the hoedowns, uh, the piano playing, all of the live entertainment has come to an end for Magic Kingdom tonight. There is still a lot to do and there is still a lot to enjoy. So we look forward to doing some rides with you guys tonight. We're going to be doing Tron later. Let's go take a look at what Thunder Mountain looks like. Uh, if that's a pretty good weight, we might go ahead and... Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> is she in the chat? <laughs> no, she's at home watching. Well, oh, yes, oh, watching. oh, I mean, like, is she, tra is, is she oh, talking she in the chat? What's yep. her name? Erin. Erin? Hello, Erin. Uh, would you oh, like to turn around? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Turn around. I just, I always press the wrong way. Hey! Yes! So, Erin? Erin, your parents are here. <laughs> and your brother? Brother. Yes? That's awesome. Oh, man. Are you guys enjoying the day? We are. That's awesome. Well, Long thank you, you Erin. Uh, like is this yesterday? Yesterday. This is the first day. God, oh, that's a great day to have your first day. Uh, is this the first time you've seen the uh, hoedown, or have you seen this before? You know, I don't think we've ever seen the hoedown. It's not something well, it's, that it's many so people fun. know. About. It's not like super advertised, so unless no. you're like walking past, you really don't know. Yeah, it's a really fun and uh, neat experience. It really is. 
Erin, we hope you see your parents. <laughs> yeah, she may be a ninja watcher. She's watching you right now. That's oh, awesome. Okay. Did you want to say anything, Sarah? Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for saying hi. And thank, thank you, guys. You for watching, have a great Aaron. day. Enjoy your day. Have a great day. That's awesome. That is awesome. There we go. Let's turn it right back around here. Oh, Aaron, Thor uh, Aaron Thorson says, oh, oh, hey, Aaron. Mom and Dad and Jonah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> She's like, we see you. <laughs> Very cool. Love when you guys say hi, and Absolutely. like, especially when you're like, you know, connecting families. It's so cool. It is. Let me get this stuff in the backpack here, and then we'll make our way right on over to Thunder Mountain. Aaron says, I ninja watch you all after run. Love you guys. Oh, thank well, you thank so, you so much, much, Aaron. I was like, oh, does she chat in the chat? And I was like, oh, wait, that doesn't make much doesn't sense now, no. does it? <laughs> I was like, oh, no. That's, I guess those are YouTube words. <laughs> yes, and not everybody's on YouTube. Oh, for sure. All right. But yeah, yes. thank you so much for ninja watching. We appreciate all ninja watchers and everyone in chat always. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, Beaker and Honeydew. Thank you so much for having been here. We really appreciate it. Good night, Beaker. Good night, Honeydew. Good night, Cooper. Oh my goodness, the photo you guys posted of Cooper today on Instagram, or was it yesterday? I don't know, I died. I was like, Eric, look at this. <laughs> Do you spot Cooper within all the toys? I'm like, he blends in so well with all his toys. He does. So cute. All right. Swimming upstream a little bit here. We'll on our way to Thunder Mountain. Let's take a look at Splash Mountain. Yeah, the construction updates on Splash. Absolutely. Rick and Honey do say thanks. He's been a handful. Oh, such a cutie. All right, what's new with this construction, Splash Mountain? But you're right, the green bags were just to uh, make sure the moisture didn't get in the in the track there. In the path, yeah. yeah. Squirrel. Where's the squirrel? Right there. Splash Mountain Squirrel. Oh, hello, Splash Mountain Squirrel. He is scavenging for food. Did you find something, Mr. Squirrel? Oh, Aaron says uh, Ron caught them on his parade stream on his way out, so it was a total chance that they were caught here. That's awesome. That's fantastic. So glad you were able to see your family twice today yeah, right? on live stream. That's so cool. So guys, there's uh, some information out there that uh, the tower for Tiana's uh, foods uh, is under construction behind the scenes right now and should be erected soon, so that'll be neat to see. But this is what uh, Tiana's Adventure Bayou currently looks like. So much scaffolding. Probably koala bear. Looks like the wait for Thunder is a bit longer than it was before. Oh, no, I think, honey? Yes? yes. Okay. There what we. happened? I think they dropped their ears there for a moment. Okay, but what did you want me I to was, do? I was going to ask you to... Oh, to pick it up? <laughs> well, to... I was uh, like, I didn't... Need... Oh, I'm sorry, I was getting okay. a video. I'm sorry. I had no idea what was... I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> It will be fun to see what it looks like when it's done, absolutely. Yes, it looks like Thunder Mountain's a bit longer of a wait than it was before. Yeah, the, the queue is, is outside of the of yeah. the attraction. That's a shame. Well, I mean, there's plenty of other rides to pick, to find. Yes, there. Let's go find something to ride, everybody.
So what are we times looking like, honey? Let me open up the My Disney Experience app and pull that right up. Simon, we did Pirates of the Caribbean yesterday, and unfortunately, we can't keep a signal on Pirates right now. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the uh, with the 5G tower over there, but we're struggling there. You want to go see about the Jungle Cruise? I mean, we there's big parts of that we don't get either, but at least we get most of it. That's That'd true. That'd be a really cool experience. Yeah, we're right here. Let's go check that out. We have not done Tron yet, Nettie Boo. We'll be doing that later on tonight. Hey, Angry Ashley, welcome in. Hey, Angry Ashley. Aloha Isle is busy. It is indeed. A lot of folks getting their dough whips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nettie Boo, Tron is going to be later this evening. Yep. Yeah, a 35 minute wait for Jungle Cruise would be amazing. Yeah, that's what it's quoted as on the app, which is an amazing, amazing time for Jungle Cruise. So yep, we're gonna go check that out and wait. see what it actually looks like. Yep. There's a lot of people heading to Jungle Cruise. Wait, it's a jungle cruise. Oh. Looks like a pretty good way to meet. What do you think, honey? Let's do it. Soccer wrench pieces over there. Alright, guys, so we'll probably be in this queue for a little while. It does move reasonably quickly, so looking forward to that. So hey guys. Hey guys. Good to see you again. We're going to be hanging out for a little bit. In the meantime guys, uh, you want to do a roll call right now? Yeah, that sounds fun. Guys, we did this last night while we were waiting for uh, Seven Doors Mine Tree. Let's see in the chat, where are you guys watching from today? You can just tell us a state or a country or you say your couch? the planet, wherever you want. Yeah. However specific or specific you want. Go for says Columbus, Ohio. Kick Toast Tucker says the moon. Oh, the moon. Nettie Boo says the Jungle Cruise ride. That'd be really cool. Uh, Jewelry by Denise says Massachusetts. Scooby Miller says Canada. The Dapper Rob says Buffalo, New York. Dana Smart says Arkansas. John Haddad says New York City. Nettie Boo says Maryland. 
Alicia says Massachusetts. Lenore says Schaumburg, Illinois. Marty M says Pennsylvania. JJ Mickey, Southwestern Connecticut. Aaron, Thorn uh, Aaron Thorson, Marion, Iowa. That's awesome. Angry Ashley, Washington. Mighty Mike, Mighty Mike Faust. Uh, Kay and I are watching in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's awesome. Megan says Northern Illinois, but wish I was in Florida. Koala Bear says I am from uh, South Congaree, South Carolina. Isabel says San Antonio, Texas. Flipping while you're slipping to Disney says Wakanda. Chef Skippy says Slidell, Louisiana. Web Club 2 says Newfoundland, Canada. Jenny Reed says South Carolina. He didn't mean hi. I didn't mean <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Uh, Caitlin Crouch said just outside of Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Riggs says Peterborough, uh, Peterborough, Canada. Matt Simitou says Atlanta ish. Hey, Atlanta ish. Uh, Kirsten Jane says I'm in bed. Fair enough, Kirsten Jane. Sam I am says Browns Mills, New Jersey. Paul Greenberg says work at Beachwood, New Jersey. Star Shift Manager, uh, DeKalb, Illinois. Gopher says, Park Gopher's a little. Uh, Christy Jane in Northeast England, Newcastle, Bon Time. Flipping while you slip into Disney, what mics are all using? Uh, we've got everything in the description down below. Yeah, description down below, guys. Uh, let's see, Megan says, oh, Lenora Schomburg, I'm an hour from there. That's awesome. John says, I gotta go to bed early, I have practice tomorrow. That's awesome, John. Have Hope fun. you enjoy practice. Uh, Disney 4 Girl says, I'm gonna come from Pensacola. That's awesome. Alyssa Dynault says Bedford, Maine. Very good. Cool. John Messina says Cherry Hill, New Jersey. LJ Stevens says Colorado. Sam Rogers says Exeter, Southwest England. That's awesome, guys. Very cool. Thank you, guys. That was Thank fun. You sharing. It's always really cool to see where you guys like where you're watching from and everything. It is. So cool. Looks like the extended queue is open today, so it's going to be a little while. Hopefully it's not like the entire extended queue. Wayne says Lathe in New York. Shield 626 says a secret shield base new, near New Orleans. That's awesome. Terry says from your kitchen. Our, Our kitchen. kitchen. Good evening, Nathan. Good to see you. Hey, Nathan. Alicia says, I have friends in the call. That's awesome. Very cool. Chef Davis wants to know, are we going to see the eighth wonder of the world? The backside of, of water. water. Hopefully. Uh, we have yeah. never cut the signal once for the backside of water. Not once. But it'd be fun if we do. It would be fun if we do. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. JJ Mickey says, Alyssa Daniel, we spent a lot of summer, a lot of the summer in New York Beach. That's awesome. Hey, Lakin. Good to see you. Hey, Lakin. John says, I'm from Del Mar. That's awesome. Disney Park Girl says, oh, oh two, two eight. eight. Oh, two, eight. Super Groovy wants to know, are we going to be streaming on Thursday? Almost certainly. We should be streaming on Thursday. Hey, David McCurley, welcome back. And uh, James says, Waterville, Maine. Oh, Waterville, Maine. Very cool. Matt Simba too says, you're also the only Eric and Monica couple I know. Oh, well, there's that. That's fair. Matthew says the difference between the Magic and Disneyland uh, River or Jungle Cruise is that Magic Kingdom only has a tunnel scene, which we like. And it usually does. It does. But we'll get it back as soon as we get out of the tunnel. Yes. Oh, Super Grumpy will be at Animal Kingdom on Thursday. That's oh, awesome. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, we, if hit, you, mm -hmm. we hit 400 likes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys for 400 likes. I was gonna say super grumpy. If you like Joffrey's coffee or tea or slushies, that Joffrey's Red right Across Yak and Yeti, highly, highly recommend it. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
The last time we were there on the live stream, um, I had a half passion fruit, half strawberry slush. It was so refreshing. Mm -hmm. No, Chef Skippy, uh, just some folks that were trying to get out of line. Yeah, yeah they're just, they decided they didn't want to wait the line. So. And it's, uh, it's one of the more narrow lines in all of uh, Magic Kingdom, so it's it's pretty so difficult. I think to get it might be the narrowest line in all of Magic Kingdom, actually. That is possible. We are moving pretty good though. Yeah, as long as we're moving good like this, I think we should be on relatively soonish. We should. Yeah, we just saw the line was not outside of like the entrance of the queue, so yes. that's usually a really good sign. That is. Yes, Theo Samigo, there is a secret veranda behind the Joffers. Which one? Uh, the Joffers that you're talking about, it's right behind of the uh, the place you can get the Coke slushies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Coke slushies are always refreshing too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, David McCurley, we are on, well, in the queue for the Jungle Cruise. We'll be getting on shortly. That's true, Simba. Uh, the Grand Fiesta Tour has a really narrow queue. Yeah. But this one's a little harder to get out of because there's so much zigzags, like back yeah. to back to back to back. And the way the line's just situated, it's like you either enter or you wait to get out there. Like, it's a tough spot. It is. David says, I love the Jumbo Cruise at night. We have, we have ridden the Jumbo Cruise and daytime and at nighttime. We have. And live streamed it, yes. We certainly have. It is 7.02 p.m. EDT, guys. We have two hours and 20 minutes until the fireworks. Let's see where we are on the Tron virtual queue. I think we still probably have two hours before we're called for Tron. They're boarding up to 147. That's not bad. I assume we're probably going to be called like an hour before park close. Yeah, 9 o'clock. I think so. But then we'll enjoy the fireworks and then get on the ride? Exactly. Yeah. We'll enjoy so the that way we don't miss it, either one. Exactly. We'll enjoy the fireworks uh, from over in the Tron area and then get on the ride. Disney Fork Girl says, I love the music from Jungle Cruise. Yes. It's very like um, Hollywood, Hollywood Studios esque. It is. So we don't typically have any blister issues. Uh, main reason for that is our shoes don't really cause them. Our shoes are very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has different feet and different like comfort levels, but for us personally, like our tennis shoes are so comfortable. Yeah. Nope. And the photographer. Oh, well, golfer says, nice shirts and hat, Eric and Monica. Well, thank you so much, golfer. Thank you very much. Megan G says, oh my goodness, while I was out running errands, I had just left my neighborhood and some lady, instead of turning into the correct lane, turns into my lane and nearly hit me. I was so upset. Oh, no. Hang in there, Megan. Unfortunately, I'm... that's a really pretty common thing on the road. Yes. So just uh, always practice safe driving, be defensive, uh, be aware of your surroundings. And just get home safe. That's the important yeah, thing. Yeah, glad that nothing happened there. Mm -hmm. Mary says, thanks for the ride home, Park Hoppers and Disney family. Have a super fantastic evening. Well, thank you so much, the thank Mayor. Thank you very much, the Mayor. And thank you for joining our membership today, Mayor. Yes, we thank you so that. much. Kevin Coda uh, said, recently got my first pair of hokas. And they're super comfy. That's We've awesome. heard a lot of really good things about Hoka's. We have. Nan B54 says, Monica, what is the waiting time for Orbiter? Hmm. Uh, we're not sure. Not sure, Nancy. I can check. Oh, the uh, Aladdin carpets are down. Oh, no. Yeah. It's, a, it's usually been down lately. I don't know why. The, Magic Carpets of Aladdin, mm -hmm. temporarily closed. 
Unless you're... All right, the Astro Orbiter Nancy is at approximately 20 minutes right now. Wow. But you know, Space Mountain's like at 35, like, there's a lot of really low wait times right now, which is fantastic. Yeah. I'm like, what's mine train at? 60 minutes, wow. 60. That's really good for this time of day, though. That is. Dumbo's at 5. Some low Teacups wait times are at 5. That's fantastic. Wow. Really great wait times right now. Oh no, Jump Cruise went up five minutes. That's okay, we've been in the line and I think it's going pretty well. It we'll is. be out of here soon because there's not too much uh, zigzags no. here in the extended queue. Which is fantastic. Alright, what should. did I miss? Mm -hmm. We should be on the Jungle Cruise shortly. Oh. 250 plus for Hoka's, my goodness. That's, That's a bit rough. Yeah, Hoka's can be very expensive. At that price, I hope they walk for me. But, you know, the shoes are a very good investment, especially when you're coming to places like Walt Disney World. Yeah. Like, having comfortable shoes is so important. It is. Not to say we've gone to the birds. We'd like to send our best wishes to our friend Rosita, who is Yeah, that's a good point, our manager. What's that? Disney should add a chicken out line uh, in queue, so like if you want to just not wait in line anymore, you changed your mind, just on like an area where you can just get out of the line easier. Yep. That's a good idea. That would be. Yes, Cake Toast Sucker, always make sure you have your shoes broken in before a Great point, yes, Cake Toast Sucker. You do not want to break in your shoes at Walt Disney World. And since you guys were asking, let's go ahead and show you. What we use are, I almost said New Balance for some reason, but Adidas, Adidas. Ultra Boost. Yeah, and they're in the description. Um, we have it linked down below as well. Yep. We got them for uh, much less than $100, I think. I don't uh, remember exactly. I don't what. remember. It's been a while. We've had these for a very long time. And we wear them like every day in the parks. We so. do wear them every single day in the parks and they have more than uh, been worth the money. Yeah, super comfortable. This would be a good ride for our safari hats, absolutely, Nathan. That's a good point. Megan says I'm off to dance, have a great night, and enjoy the rest of the stream. Well, thank you so much, Megan, thank enjoy you, dance. Megan. Have fun at dance. JJ Mickey says I got my Hoka's for like 120. Never seen for 250. 120 is a good price. Yeah, 120 is not terrible. Yeah, especially if they're very comfortable for you. That's what's the most important thing. Yeah. Jeff Davis says, I use New Balance's The Ultimate Dad's Shoes, LOL. Yeah. Angry Ashley said, I did that at Universal and I wanted to die. I'll never go to a theme park ever again without Crocs. Crocs are life. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs are great for, um, especially when it's raining. Oh, yeah. Oh no, stay safe, John. Yeah. Yeah, we've been noticing a bit of wasps and bees uh, way more active in the parks lately. As well. Hey, Claudio, good to see you. Hey, Claudio. David McCurley says, I hate my feet getting wet, so I take my socks off, put them in my pockets, and turn my shoe soles up in my lap on water rides. That's fair. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good technique. What I try to do when it rains out, um, if I think about it, I bring our extra socks. That's true. Wayne said, I just ordered new shoes. Hope to have time to break them in. Hopefully. Yeah, breaking them in before a Disney trip is always a very good idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christy Jane sells angry, Ashley. That's because you were in the wrong park. <laughs> <laughs> How would you pronounce that name? The uh, the ship going by the boat. Oh, uh, Yukiali Lolly. Yukiali Lolly. I don't know. Thanks for that information, golfer. That is uh, not a terrible way for uh, some doors my train, but that's, we did do that that's yesterday. That's not a great way. <laughs> we do like uh, changing it up each day and showing oh, you guys yeah. new things. Exactly. We did it uh, yesterday and it was quoted as a 45 minute wait when we got in line. That's true. 
so that we was We waited good. about 48 minutes until. Yeah. That wasn't bad. Chef Skippy says, I wear Crocs every day at work. Casey Jane says, Crocs are amazing, especially with little Disney additions. Trinity 714, we will be riding Sean Light Cycle Run, which just will be later on tonight. Our uh, virtual queue has not been called yet. Yeah, it'll be uh, later on. Have the sun has set. <laughs> Hannah says, the amount of walking done at the concrete in the parks, you really need well padded shoes, for sure. Oh, yeah. Jane says crocs are amazing, especially with little Disney additions. Yeah, oh, I like the uh, the gibbets. Those are always really cute. That's Jeff was saying I would get Hocus at 120. Just their website says 250. Huh? That's crazy. Oh no. Angry Ashley says I wish I could wear crocs at work. I gotta wear steel-toed boots. It's awful. Oh no, sorry about that, Ashley. And guys, thank you so much for the ride updates. Just as a heads up, uh, we are getting on to the Jungle Cruise here and ride times, uh, ride times do differ a lot. So whatever a ride is right now, it may not be here uh, by the time we get off of the Jungle Cruise. So bear with us. We'll see what we do after uh, Jungle Cruise and we'll go from there. I'll bet they do, John. saying actually they don't make steel toed crocs yet wow that would be quite something david said uh, one time it rained so hard that the spot that we're standing in right now was knee high deep. What? This spot? Right? Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Halfway through with the extended queue, everybody almost there. That is true, Jeff Davis. The rains at Hollywood Studios can flood Hollywood Boulevard. Hey, Magically Marissa. Hey, Marissa. Marissa says, hi, I'll be down for Memorial Day weekend. I hope to see you both again. It will be my first time coming back with an annual pass. Congratulations. Well, that's fantastic, Marissa. And she lives in New York, so that's a big trip. Well, enjoy your trip during Memorial Day weekend. I do think we will be uh, doing quite a bit of streaming on that weekend, so. Oh, for sure. Oh, we I'm will gonna... definitely be in the park. We certainly will. I need to plug in the gimbal. Okay, I can help you. If you would please take the gimbal, I will find the charger. <laughs> so it's going to take a little bit here. Let's get that out there. Wanda last time. We did. 
Let's get that back into the bag. There's so many cool details in this ride. There are. And the music is fantastic. Yeah. It's very relaxing and like peaceful and like just makes you think Hollywood Studios like old timey. So cool. Wanda. I guess we're not going to get Wamba Wanda this time. Nope. Ron on the go says, 23 minutes in line. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We don't have too much more to go. I think exactly, Claudio. It's all jazzy. I love it, for sure. All right, guys, there goes Wamba Wanda. And they're going to say, back to us. Yep. Right there. Bye. That's awesome. Kirsty Chain's like, Ron likes counting. All right, gimbal's plugged in. We are good to go for a while longer. Two hours away from fireworks, everybody. Means we're probably about an hour and 40 minutes away from our boarding uh, group being called over at Tron. At that point, we'll head over that direction, probably catch the fireworks from the Tron area, and then get right in line for our right through Tron. <laughs> Chef Davis says, I always wondered why vampires are in Europe but not Africa. Vampires why? are killed by holy water. They bless the rains down in Africa. Oh, okay. They bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> That's awesome. There is the Congo Kani. Yes, Toto, guys. Toto. <laughs> you know what I just noticed? Sorry, this is first aid, right? Uh-huh. And this is last aid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that can be a good thing, right? All right, guys, we are no longer in the extended queue. Oh, it's so much warmer on this side. It is. There's no fans right here. It's felt so nice on the other side. That's true, Mario. Walt did originally want to use real animals for this ride. Uh, he originally intended for the Jungle Cruise to be educational. Uh, and he, in fact, only included one joke in it. Uh, was in a part where in Disneyland you can see the giraffe. And uh, so I did a quick joke about that, and it wasn't necessarily a great joke. Uh, it took the Imagineering prowess of uh, one of the original Imagineers to say, you know, this ride could be funny and it could be more enjoyable. And ever since then, Jungle Cruise has been one of the most popular attractions in every Disney park worldwide. Dad jokes absolutely make the way to go back to Dr. Jeff Davis. You are correct. Crazy boat driver, also. That'd be really funny. Thank you so much, Marty. Um, yes, Mark Davis. Imagineer Mark Davis was the one who uh, 
he started off as an animator for Walt Disney. He did a lot of the early animations, uh, did a lot of uh, a lot of like Snow White and uh, Tinkerbell and things like that. That was Mark Davis. And then he was uh, incorporated into Imagineering, has to be a big part of a number of attractions here at uh, Disney, both Disneyland and Disney World. I think he just passed away in uh, 2000. He was one of uh, the original Disney's nine old men. This is Skip a Missy of the Global Broadcasting Service, playing your favorite songs and delivering the news you need. Members of the Adventurers Club will be joining us on the air tomorrow morning to share some club secrets ahead of their upcoming open house gap. Telegraph me your questions and they may be answered on the air. To keep up with popular demand, the Skipper Canteen is looking for some new kitchen crew members. Interested skippers should see Alberta for a transfer application. Attention Jungle Cruise passengers. Be sure to mention the Jungle Navigation Company the next time you visit the American Waterfront. The New York Preservation Society is offering free tours of the Hotel High Tower for Jungle Cruise passengers. Don't forget to drop in for this amazing tour. And now, another request. This time, from Skipper Michael to Skipper Greg. <laughs> Hey Lynn, good to see you. Hey Lynn Butler. Oh, it's 7.22, so it's, uh, it's half after midnight out there. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging in with us out there in uh, the UK right now. We appreciate that. We'll be getting on the Jungle Cruise shortly. Just a little bit more of the queue to go. Says park hoppers. I'm hoping this won't be a repeat of your safaris the other day. Oh my goodness! I don't think these bus can go that fast. <laughs> yeah, those safaris the other day were literally a walk on. They were. And they were a walk on and a walk off. Yes. Very true, Hannah Anderson. There is a lot of people in this one uh, area, and it does have a lot of body. I'm not sure what's the. There's like a bit of a delay with the boats. Yeah, they haven't had another boat come up in a little while. I feel like that seagull needs a name. What seagull? Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. What should we name the seagull, everybody? While we wait for the jungle cruise, there's a seagull right above where you board. What should be the seagull's name? Mr. Seagull? Mrs. Seagull? Steven Seagull? Steven Seagull. Oh my goodness. The boat finally came. And the uh, Momo, Hanji, The coffers like Mr. Park Coppers. <laughs> Jeff Davis really enjoyed Steven Seagal. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Koi Kitty said, I was just about to say what Monica did. Oh, sorry, Koi Kitty. Oh, Marty M says Scuttle. Oh, Scuttle's a good one. From The Little Mermaid. I don't know how I 
feel about that? Uh, there's gonna be a new live action Little Mermaid. I think they did a wonderful casting. Well, they haven't released it yet. No? Okay. I think the casting was wonderful for Little Mermaid herself or Ariel, but like, I don't know how I feel about like the live action Sebastian and Flounder. Flounder. Like, they don't remind me of like the characters. Oh, Jeff Davis says Nigel. It's like from Finding Nemo. Robert says I love Steven Seagal. Aaron Box says Jonathan Livingston. Well, that's a good name. Hey. Of the details and all the fun stuff that Disney added to this ride. Alicia says, I was going to say Scuttles. And Jeff oh. Davis says, Dr. Kenneth Noisewater. Oh, it's, wow. it's a doctor? It's a doctor. Oh, wow. That is very fitting of the Jungle Cruise. Dr. Kenneth Noisewater. Kitty saying, no, 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 not is he real. That's the full name. Oh, gotcha. Is it real Sigul? Oh, that's his name. Okay. That I, is also very fitting of the show. I get it. Yes, I like that. Hey, Julian. Hey, Ryan. Hey, guys. Ryan's asking, what part of Magic Kingdom do you two like? Is there a part we don't like? That's what I was thinking. I think we enjoy all of Magic Kingdom, really. Yeah. I mean, the newest, most recent addition to the park has been the Tron area. So that's pretty cool, especially at nighttime when the lights and the canopy and everything is happening. That's a pretty cool area. Where's the, there's the uh, UCLA lolly again. Again? Again. Oh, well, maybe we'll get... Um, Wamba, uh, what's the Wanda one? Wamba Wanda? Wanda Wanda. We always tend to get Wamba Wanda. That is true. That would be really funny if we do. So we've got Steven Seagal, we've got Dr. Kenneth Noisewater, is it real Seagal? Uh, we've got Scuttle, we've got uh, Nigel, Jonathan Livingston. A lot of really neat names, guys. Yes. All right, this looks like our last big turn here before uh, being into the boarding area. Yes. Jeff Davis says the seagull is either a secret camera or a Wi-Fi tower. What? Huh. So should we name them like I Spy Seagull? What? If they're spying on us? Oh, maybe. Always watching. Maybe we name the seagull Roz. Roz the seagull. Roz the seagull. I feel very judged. Do you guys, do you see the expression on the seagull? Seems so judgmental. Alright, so the next book that they're loading is the Nile Nelly. Nile Nelly. <laughs> Don't make bad choices. Did you see the sign where they show the employee in the mask? Oh, right there? Yeah. Employee of the month is E.L. O'Fi... E.L. O'Fi... Uh, I don't know. O'Fi? What does it say underneath? It says... 
Oh my gosh. What? So, ELO Fire. Yeah. Please forward your con uh, congratulations and your condolences to Mr. O'Fire's next of uh, next of care of our home office or something like that. Yeah. Oh boy. Like what? What happened to him? Hey, Carla and Kiko. Hey, Carla. Hey, Kiko. Hope you guys are doing good. Let's talk. The Jungle Navigation Company is now offering all new. Yellow fever. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Koi Kitty. Yellow fever. Oh my goodness. Yes. Thank you, Koi Kitty. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense that you have to oh. congratulate us next to Ken. Then. I understand now. Yes. Thank you for that, Koi Kitty. That one went right over my head. It's my me as well. Guy. If I'm missing, you are on a roll. <laughs> and now, back to the music. Wonder where that goes. What? Is that a waterfall up there? I don't know. <laughs> also, that's a huge oak tree right there. Definitely makes this whole area feel very jungly. The mixture of the oak tree and the uh, bamboo there. Is there mosquitoes? Is there mosquitoes in there? Oh, because it says mosquitoes. That's hilarious. I don't want to be near that tree. I think you have oil right here. What's going on? <laughs> There's the Zambezi Zelda. <laughs> Chef Davis says, go over your head so far and hit the seagull. Apparently. Becca says, there's one for meals of the week too. That'd be really awesome. In the same area. Let's see. Oh, it might be right there on the right up there. I'll definitely try to take a look at that. I really wonder if we're going to get um, Wanda. Uh, I haven't seen Wanda in a while, though. That's true. Irma's next. I don't know which boat is behind Irma. Oh, yeah, it says Crew Mess. Huh? The uh, sign right here behind the fan. It says Lunch Menu. See like giant stag beetle, python, three-toed skink, all sorts of neat stuff on there. Yummy. <laughs> yes, exactly, Hannah Anderson, as in yellow fever, a jungle affliction, absolutely. Is it cooked at least this powder? Good question. Good thing Mr. Fever wasn't there when the dance did there. Hey, Fever! Sorry. My goodness. Alright, let's zoom back out here. There's the tarantula, everybody. Is the tarantula asleep? It looks like it. We are almost on, everybody. It is the Wombo Wanda coming up. I don't know if are we'll we make it Are we gonna get Wombo Wanda? No way. This is gonna be crazy. I don't think we're gonna make that boat. No? We go all the way to the Oh, that fan feels great. Oh, we're not gonna make Wombo Wanda. No. Almost. All passing skippers, please return to the dock box. Once again, all passing skippers, please return to the dock box.
Oh, it's on me now. Oh, is it? Gotcha. Yep. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't us. <laughs> Not us? Not us. Thank you. That was a deer fly. Okay, is it on me or you or what? I don't think so. I, I saw it go back towards the uh, towards the line a little bit. Did, it, did you bring the extra one I brought you? Oh, you got me an extra one? I did well, not. I, are you sure it's not on my like back arm or something? Mm, I no? don't see it. I think you're good. A lot of bugs today. A lot of bugs today, yeah. Gerard wants to know, what is Park Hopper's favorite ride? Um, we really like Rise of the Resistance. We do. Can you take the back of my left leg? Yeah. All clear, honey. We're good. I think the uh, trash has scared somebody right there. Are we gonna get Congo Connie? If we fit. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think we're going to be on Congo Kani. I don't think so. We'll get the next one. It's on my bucket hat, says Jeff. I don't see anything on your bucket hat. No? to stay quiet so you guys can enjoy the ride. Uh, if we lose signal, which we probably will in a couple places, we'll do our best to bring it back as quickly as possible. Enjoy the jungle cruise, everybody. I'll we'll find out what boat we're getting on in a second. Sorry. Carlin Kiko, we're saying Rise of Resistance is a very cool attraction. Yeah, it's like, it's like our favorite, really. It's so neat because it's a, it's a trackless ride system yes. with a drop as well as an elevator. And uh, the cast members are such a big part of it. So It's super immersive and there's such a good storyline. And all like the technology used and it's really cool. Absolutely. Welcome back, Christopher Jackson. Hey, Christopher. And thank you, Forza. About a 45 minute wait for Jungle Cruise? That well, wasn't that bad then. 45 minutes for Jungle Cruise. It, was that what it quoted us as? It quoted us no, 35. No, we got 35. here, it was 35. Right. So maybe with all the like the delays they had with the boats and everything. Yeah. Also, it could have been that a lot of uh, lightning lane came up or anything else like that that could have uh, delayed it a bit. Oh, that's true. Exactly, Marty. Thank you. It's good to know the Jungle Cruise. Uh, you don't have to transfer if you're in a wheelchair. You can just uh, ride right onto it, and then there's an elevator system on the ride itself that brings you down to uh, the regular standard height. It's really cool. Yes, exactly, Claudio. Time flies when you're in great company. <laughs> All right, guys. Looks like we are on the Bomakondi Bertha. That's what I got. How many here? Two. Alrighty, get off the man and let's go to the water. 
365 days a year. And you know, in some years, that is every single day. But a fun fact about the butterflies you'll see here, they grow a wingspan of 12 inches all the way to a whopping one foot. And in just a moment, on the left side of the boat, you'll see Inspiration Falls. Legend has it, it inspires explorers to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh. ooh. Everybody say, aw. Aw. Now everybody say Skipper Jeffrey, you're doing great. Skipper Jeffrey, you're doing great. And you know what? That sounds like inspiration to me. And you've all inspired me to continue to the Congo River. So let's see how far this boat can go. Oh, I get it. Now, has anyone ever heard of the Jungle Book? Yes. Well, I have some very exciting news. So if you direct your attention to the left side of the boat, you'll see the Jungle Book. It's going to be right there. Get it? Jungle Book? Yeah, Book of Jungle. Now, if you happen to enjoy our cruise today, I highly recommend stopping by Boats and Bates and Bites, where you can rent your own canoe for your own explorations. Oh. But you know what? I can't see anyone. Yeah, canoe? No, canoe. Oh, and right over there, we have a python. Now, you want to know how I know that's a python and not a boa? There are no feathers. Now, can someone tell me what sound a snake makes? Well, my jokes must be that bad, huh? <laughs> Oh, that sounded dangerous, but I have a great idea. Let's get closer. Now, if you're wearing yellow, do not make the sound that banana makes. They find it very annoying. And they just might go ape. But we're now on the Nile River, and the Nile River is the longest river in the world. It goes on for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And if you don't believe me, you're probably in Africa. Oh, and straight ahead, you'll see an African boat, elephant. Now, here's a fun fact about elephants. Did you know they have the best memory out of all the animals in the world? Yeah, I sure wish I had a memory like that. Oh, but right over there, you'll see an African boat, elephant. Now, here's a fun fact about elephants. Did you know they have the best memory out of all the animals in the world? Yeah, I sure wish I had a memory like that. But we're now passing our oldest attraction, the sandstone. Now, some people do take it for granted. Yeah, but I think they rock. Anyways, so everyone wave goodbye to Skipper Felix. Bye, Skipper Felix, goodbye. We miss you. Maybe. But you know what? I think he got the point that we're moving on. We're now entering crocodile country, where danger lurks around every bed. You know, his name's Ox Miley. I have no idea if you in the jungle. <laughs> it's me, everyone. It's me. But right behind me is Schweitzer Falls. Schweitzer Falls is named after the founder of the Jungle Navigation Company. His name is Dr. Albert Falls. Now, here's a fun fact about Schweitzer Falls. It contains 3,000 different varieties of jungle bacteria. Just a little take-home souvenir for everyone. So you'll have to tell the bat story. 
Oh no, it looks like we entered the hippo pool. Yeah, last week we did sink six boats here. Don't worry, only <laughs> five of them were mine. But I do have one trick up my sleeve to stop them. It worked in all of my past relationships, so maybe it'll work here too. I love you! Do you want to meet my parents? I want to have a committed relationship! I think that worked, I don't know. <laughs> But up ahead, it looks like some chimps did take over one of our boats as we pass by, listen in and see what they have to say. You know, I'm just a little bit curious. <laughs> oh no, I am so sorry. I have no idea where they learned that language. Yeah, they must have forgotten this is a family park. But about the boxes of bugs over here, I kind of wish the holes were a little bit smaller just so the bugs couldn't get out. But you know, no, it's fine. But we're now entering the May Cult. Now there's a legend about this temple, so if you close your eyes and make a wish inside, it is said to come true. So you know what? Let's see if that works. I don't know, but we'll have to find out. the secret Indian elephant bathing pool, please feel free to take photos. Don't worry, they all have their trunks on for you. But there's a fun fact about elephants. Did you know they have the best memory out of all the animals in the world? Yeah, I sure wish I had a memory like that. But that elephant under the waterfall has been there way too long. Yeah, they're looking pretty wrinkly to me. Oh no. Now you're probably thinking that's water. Oh, no. You're probably thinking that's water. It's not. It's not. Oh no, oh no, someone's getting wet. Everyone duck, 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 goose, yeah. So now I'm going to point out some of my favorite plants for you all. That one, that one, and that one. No, I'll name them for you too, so the ones up, the sea viscous. And in just a moment on the left side of the boat, you'll see the official Jungle Cruise Lost and Found. Oh, I mean gift shop. Yeah, it's no longer the lost and found. So if you found that item you've always been looking for, I can guarantee you 110%. No, you didn't. But the monkeys at the gift shop, they found their prices to be absolutely bananas. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the bed at all times, and please supervise children. I'll let you know when it's safe to exit. Now, today you've all been so outstanding. But you know what? Now I need you out standing on the dock right here, so please gather all of your personal belongings. Well, minus wallets. I need to make a living one way or another. And I'll leave you with two of my favorite words I've been wanting to say since you got on this boat. So wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What are you waiting for? Get out. Watch your head, watch your step, use that hammer. Watch your head, watch your step, use that hammer. I'll please exit the way that you entered and don't cross over those set of crates. It's not a great idea. Watch your head, watch your step, use that hammer. Bye now. Bye now. You should all be up with it by now. No, I'm only kidding. Please stay here now. Stay here. Watch your head, watch your step, use that hammer. Bye now. Alrighty, guys. Well, I don't know if you guys saw any of that. But uh, that was the Jungle Cruise. <laughs> oh no. Gives you some idea of why we don't stream that very often. Unfortunately, uh, we just can't show you much of it. Uh, not very much of it is showable. <laughs> and you guys weren't able to see the backside of water. Very sorry about that. What time are we looking at? Eight o'clock almost, all right. Wayne says about half. <laughs> about half? Because well, Elizabeth says it was good enough. Half Sorry, guys. <laughs> Saw some of it. Some of it's better than none of it, right? Right? Yeah, we're sorry that you guys missed the backside of water, so we'll do it right here with you guys right now. It's the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. What water are you showing? I, I'm not. There's no water here. Well, the camel spits water. The, camel the does tiki's spit water. spit water. That's fair. There's a lot of water spitting happening in this area. That is true. <laughs> Marty, I was like, oh, Oh, two, look right H. there. You saw it? I did see it for a second. The camel spit water. 
And if we wait a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it almost got me. It tried to. It certainly did. Oh, very cool, golfer. Love your new photo with Mickey playing golf. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Koi, could have said, man, I thought you were going to dump a cup of water or something. <laughs> I was like, wait, we got to show water in some fashion. If, if we had a cup of water, I totally would have poured it out right there, and then Monica would have been like, why did you do that? Oh, not and... the water from the water bottle. <laughs> we need that for hydration. That's true. Yeah, guys, that was Skipper Jeffrey. He was very, very good. He certainly was. So let's make our way across the park over towards, uh, what do you think, Tomorrowland? Yeah, this one's fantastic. Hey, Slicer. Good to see you, Slicer. Crowds so, have been pretty good so far today, yeah. actually. For Not bad at all. Yeah, for Magic Kingdom on a Tuesday, pretty awesome. Yeah. On the bottom one. It won't be this way much longer, though. That's true. That is true, Billy Glenn. That camel nearly got our backside with water. <laughs> hey, Billy Glenn. Look at the clouds up there. Very pretty. Oh, they're still serving the uh, spring rolls. Oh, are they? Yeah. Wow. Five minutes to eight. Well, would you like a spring roll? Um, I don't know, would you? I don't know, I'm not really hungry. I think I'm moment. okay, yeah? thank you. Okay. Oh, Movie Mania Nick's heading out. Have a good night, Nick. Have a good night, Nick. Thank you for being here. Yes, guys, uh, we encountered a lot of lag back there. So if you'd please check your live indicators. If they are gray, go ahead and either refresh, or I think you can click the live indicator if you're on a computer and uh, make sure that it turns red. As long as it's red, you are live with us. If it's gray, you are not live. And we'd like to have you all live here with us so that we can continue to talk with you and enjoy the day with you. Boy, oh boy, people are getting ready for fireworks in an hour and 20 minutes. I just saw like cast members together from like three different lands. Oh, really? Like right back there, you'll see Haunted Mansion, oh, yeah. Adventureland, and uh, Pirates? Yep, that's something. <laughs> so on mobile, Golfer, um, if you are no longer live, uh, you can go ahead and close us out and then reopen us, and that should uh, get you live again. Yeah, and then there's also the refresh button that you could use as well. Is there a Whatever. refresh button on mobile? Yeah, well, I thought so. Oh, maybe just closing it and reopening it would probably be the simplest way. I think so. Um, did you see the sky? That's what I was talking about. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take a quick photo of the castle here. Just one Okay, we second. lost signal here last oh, okay. earlier, and there's a lot of people here, so feel free to take your picture. I'm going to keep moving a little bit. <laughs> No filter on, Becca. That is just the clouds right now. The sunset's making them look very beautiful. That was just so stunning. I couldn't afford it. I was like, I don't want to miss this opportunity to get that photo. Yeah, the castle looks beautiful. I'll show you guys the photo I took. Gorgeous. Is it pretty? It's very pretty. Beautiful. The sky right now is amazing. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's head further into Tomorrowland. Hey, Steven. Good to see you, Steven. Thank you, JJ Mickey. That is our Instagram if you guys would like to follow us on there as well. Absolutely. So we never did end up with a storm today, which is awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Marty M. I tried my best. 
She is a great photographer. Why, thank you. That's correct. Golfer Happily Ever After is at 9.20 tonight. We have an hour and 20 minutes until that point, and then immediately following Happily Ever After, we will get in line for our Tron. Yes, Tron. Uh, boarding group. Oh, wow. Just the views everywhere with the sky right now are just so pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should stop before the Tomorrowland sign. Oh, no. Do you want to go Dang. back? Huh? Do you want to go back? No, it's okay, I think. I'll just take, I'm ready? I'll take it from here. Gotcha. You know, I think I do want to go back for the sign. Okay. I'll be right here, honey. Okay. Just gonna step aside to the side over there when I get a chance. So I'm not in the shot as well. All right, here we go. There's some Disney ducks down there. say that we would do uh, the lap floor again today if people wanted to uh, be a part of getting their jokes in for the lap floor. Oh, yeah. Is that something you want to do right now? Might as well. There does not seem to be much of a wait. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's the lap floor. All right, guys, we're going to run into Monsters Incorporated lap floor here. We were here yesterday, but uh, a lot of people wanted a chance to get their jokes in for the lap floor. We want to make sure you guys have that opportunity. So let's go ahead and head into the lap floor. Oh, no. Well, maybe we won't do oh, that hey, floor I think right you may now. go straight. I mean, you want to it's going to be about a 25 minute wait before we're in the loft floor itself. Okay. Yeah, let's go do something else then. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll try loft floor again in a little bit. We still have plenty of time. And uh, guys, we're going to be showing Happily Ever After tonight from the Tron area. Yep. So we're going to have the Happily Ever After fireworks with the Tron music. We certainly will. We've done that once before. I'm excited. Yeah. Because it's really gorgeous from there. It is. So even though ride times and ride queues are saying they're a really short wait, I think in some cases that's not necessarily the case. Uh, People Mover's got a very long line right now. I guess maybe uh, the people came out to Magic Kingdom now, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I was going to suggest that for our Sunset people. Be careful with the water here. Thank you. Guys, let's come around here. Uh, the wait's not too bad, is. I don't think, is it? Do you want to do the people mover, honey? Well. What are you thinking? That it's as long as the Astro Orbiter just about. You want to do the Astro Orbit? I don't remember the last time we did it. Have we ever? No. All right, we can go do it if you want to. What do you think? I, you go to an elevator. Right. I don't know if you'll keep signal. Probably won't. For the elevator, at least. I mean, if you want to do it, we can. Well, we can do a people mover. That's all right. Huh? We can do a, a people mover. Well, that is 
a good point, Marty. It is a beautiful night for Astro Orbiter. So what are you thinking, honey? Uh, we've never live streamed Astro Orbiter, so yeah, hopefully first. we don't lose signal too poorly. Good night, uh, Claudio. No, we can go right through here. Oh, you can just okay, okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's check out the Astro Orbiter. Oh. I mean, the line is shorter than uh, People Mover. Yeah, it's just this one doesn't move as quickly. That's but true. it should be not too bad. Yeah, that shouldn't be too long of a wait. Yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all I was thinking is we might get some lag in the elevator part. That's true. I don't think this is quite a 30 minute wait for standby, so I think we're going to be okay. RDM, I think I've written this before, I just don't know how long ago. It's it's not something I've written any time recently, not in the last uh, decade or so. So it'll be interesting. Location, uh, one entrance to Epcot from the Skyliner, uh, but there are two entrances to Epcot in general. But for the Skyliner, she's asking. Yeah, but for the Skyliner, it's only the one entrance over by the UK. The Skyliner? Yeah. Well, it's closer to France, really. It's in between the UK and France Pavilion. Fair. It's by the International uh, Gateway. It's the, yeah, it's called the International Gateway. Yep. Yeah. I think it was a good call not doing People Mover. I haven't seen people moving. People Mover is definitely not moving right now. I mean, they're not even putting people up to the uh, ride level. No. I'm not sure what's going on there. Justin says, I've been going to Magic Kingdom since 1976, and I have never done this ride. Really? I mean, I, I honestly, like Eric said, I can't remember the last time I was on Astro Orbiter, really. Oh, of course, Sabrina, no problem. The breeze right now feels fantastic. Oh, it's a fan. 
Uh, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a breeze. I feel silly now. <laughs> yeah, they are still not moving people out to the people mover. Not That's sure right. what's going on with the people mover, but it ain't moving people. People storage? Possibly. People halter? We should be on Astro Orbiter pretty soon. I'm excited. It's been a while. Back to moving cable. Oh, weird. I wonder what happened. I don't know. It's good to see that it's back in action, though. Yes. Thank you. I was just looking to see if there was wheelchairs or anything up there. I didn't see that. See you all. Thank you for being here. We're gonna get up on uh, Astro Orbiter for like the first time, basically. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Do you want a separate rocket yourself? No, I don't think so. Can we both fit in one rocket? I mean, typically it's like usually, from my recollection, it's an adult and a child. Ah. Okay. Well, then probably two separate. Yeah. yeah. Plus, if you get nauseous, and or if I get nauseous, I don't want that to. Yeah, that would be bad. That sounds so romantic, though. No, that's not romantic. One of us can get sick, which will cause the other one to get sick. We'll get sick together. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll do separate rockets. Becca says, yes, you can both fit. Yeah, I think we can, but like... Is it like Dumbo? No. No? It's tighter Have you than never Dumbo? seen Astro Orbiter? I, we see it all the time from the people motor. I don't Are think I, I don't think I've seen the ride vehicle and been on the ride vehicle in maybe 20 years now. Freddie, I says Monica, don't say that. I'm not nauseous. Jay Fisher says, "Good evening, guys. Ask for the air sickness bags." Oh no. It's like a rock. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it so you can see what it looks like. Alright, let's get images. Here we go. Becca says, boyfriend is 604 like and I'm 5 feet and it worked for us. Oh, okay. I just oh, it is just like one. Ca okay. Yeah, we should probably do two separate ones. Oh, is Monica sitting in my lap and uh, that's not the most comfortable way to go. So. It doesn't, like, yeah. Just in case one of us gets um, ill, maybe best to do, se yeah, two separate rockets. Do you think one of us is going to get ill on this? I don't know. We haven't done it in like a long time, so. Yeah. Nutty Boo, welcome back. No, Tron's going to be later at night. Yep. We're uh, in line for Astro Orbiter now. Now, our boarding call, uh, our boarding group should be called in about uh, 47 minutes. Yeah. Because that's an hour before close. Uh, but Happily Ever After is at 9.20. So in about uh, one hour, we will be set up for it over by the Tron area. Yeah. To enjoy the fireworks once the fireworks are over. Then we'll head on into. And then we'll uh, get on Trump. Yes. And we'll go in what we now call Baby Yoda mode. Baby Yoda mode. Which is, aka, the chest mount. The so, chest mount. Getting that all set up. Rob K says, can't wait for fireworks. Thank you. Absolutely, Rob K. I have you. <laughs> yeah, we've seen um, Tron from. I mean, we've seen the fireworks from Tron before, Matthew. Uh, once before, and it was a stunning, like, we've seen the coaster pass by and all the lights from the canopy and the fireworks happening. 
all at the same time, so cool. That is a very cool experience. Oh, Marian says, depends if you're scared of heights. Uh-oh. It is pretty high up there. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Huh? I think we'll be fine. As he looks around all, not fine. Alright, I think they're loading up the next elevators to go up. This is not a very fast moving line, is it? No, that's what I was trying to say. We do continue to inch forward though. Yeah, because the thing is, there's only two elevator shafts that go up and down. But yeah, I'm excited to see Happily Ever After from the Tron area. Absolutely. It's been a while. It has been a while. I got some amazing pictures from there. Oh yeah? Last time. Remember we used it as one of the covers. Oh right. Yeah. Chef Skippy says, I'm terrified of heights. Well, oh, sorry about that, Chef Oh Skippy. no. If you guys don't like heights or viewing them uh, through streams. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know if it'll trigger anything uh, seeing it through the stream. But. No, I know, but I was just giving a warning, like, because okay. we fair. will be high up there. But yeah. Golfer wants to know if we've ever ridden rock and roller coasters. We have not. Well, I have. Okay, Monica has. But a long, 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 long time ago. Rock and roller coaster has been closed for a while now. Yeah. Becca says the view up there is beautiful. Make sure you take pics. If I am able to, I will. Oh, excuse me. Gosh, it's that time of day. Getting a hold of me. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily. Matthew says, Rock and Roller Coaster is an extreme coaster. Yeah, it really is. And it has two uh, loops inside. Hmm. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of loops. No? I don't think so. I don't think I mind loops. No? I think, uh, I think I'd rather do loops than like the turning, the rotational like twist that you do in Guardians, where you're not oh. facing forward. Gotcha. I think I could handle loops for a while over, uh, over that sensation. Well, the thing is with rock and roller coaster, it really shakes you a lot. Does it shake you a lot? Like for me, the last time I remember going to rock and roller coaster, I remember my head, it like, it shakes left to right a lot. And that's like the part I didn't like, and the music's very loud. Gotcha. So there's that. So are your plugs? Yeah, maybe. I, I need to invest in some that are good for the parks, you know? Because yeah. I have some, but they're not like good for outdoors. Right. And Becca, we've only been here uh, for about a year now. And in that time, Rock and Roller Coaster has pretty much been down the whole time. Yeah. So we haven't had a chance to yet. Uh, we're waiting for it to come back up. Barnum says, have you ridden Everest? We have not yet. We'd love to, but we haven't done it yet. Yeah, we've not ridden Everest together yet. Let's see here. Nettie Boo says, park hoppers, be brave for us. That's not ever getting on it. Oh no. Cindy Travis says, thank you all. I'm late to the party, but I got to go back and see my Caitlin escorting the cavalcade again today. Thank you. Yes. Of course, Cindy. Yeah, we saw her today. This adventure says, uh, front row is pretty smooth on Rock and Roll. Oh, front row? I think front row would be the row that we would have to ask for. I think so. Oh, and then Becca's like, I sit in the front every time. <laughs> Goffer says goes from 0 to 70 in 2.5 seconds. Really? How does that compare to Tron? Tron goes 0 to 59.8 or something like that. Pretty quickly as well. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. The sky looks beautiful. I hope it stays that pretty while we're up there. hope so. The sun is setting quickly. I'll show you guys once we have a better view of it. And 
the meantime, why don't we show you guys a little bit more of Tomorrowland? Yeah. Let's turn your back around. Do we have the same one now? I'm not sure. If we want two separate uh, rockets, possibly. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have the same one. Thank you. Alright guys, so we won't be on this elevator, but we'll be on the next elevator. Yeah. Puffy, my girl. Good to see you, Puffy, my girl. Hey, Puffy, my girl. <laughs> Do you think we'll get lift A or lift B? Well, I think it'll be whatever lift that doesn't happen now. Well, no, they're both happening, I think. But yes, Clicky Pen, Becca. They're doing uh, counting, I think. Yep. Got to count the number of people go up, uh, who go up and the number of people who come down. Make sure everybody comes back down. Yes, that's true. Puff and Bree says, after this, you'll be ready to try Space to 20. Now there's an elevator ride in a high view for you. <laughs> that is fair. the food at Space Station 20. So I think Ron did, right? I think Ron enjoyed the food at Space Station 20. Um, did enjoy from it? our recollection. Oh, no, I don't I don't mean like, oh, I'm sorry. I meant like he, he did eat there. Oh, gotcha. Like, I don't know if he enjoyed it. I hope so. But we haven't eaten at uh, Space Station 20 yet. Right. It looks really cool, though. It does. JJ Mickey said, Kevin Cota, we had a great meal there and it's a super cool experience. Well, that's awesome, JJ Mickey. That is awesome. William's like, all I know is that it's expensive. Yes, that's all we know as well. I mean, you're going out to space. You gotta imagine it's gonna be expensive, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, so this was one elevator and this is another elevator. Exactly. Got it. I think we're so gonna you think be, we'll get A or B? I think we're going to be lift A. You think so? What do you think? I think Alpha, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you're fine. Alrighty, my two right this way, right side this box for me. Thanks so much. We go in a box. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted to be in, like encased in the box. Yeah, so I, I want this so that we're near the doors in the elevator. Huh? I wanted it to be over here so that we'll be near the doors in the elevator. Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Also, so that uh, as we fill up the box that we're in, we can look around tomorrow and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Straight ahead, you can see the line for like the frozen Cokes and stuff. Oh, yeah. People are still like wanting a lot of that. Oh, and there's popcorn there, too. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> Chef David says, no, but I put spark hoppers in a box. 
Oh, Kevin says, I got lucky with the reservation next week when I come down. That's awesome, Kevin. That is awesome. I've never even seen a reservation for Space to Sweeney, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I have either. They're always so booked. That's awesome. We hope you enjoy it. They have really cool drinks and uh, food items from what we've seen. Right. And, and the atmosphere is cool. It is. And Gopher, as in a box, like we're in kind of a, a squared off part of the queue here. Oh, just like a, a fence-y thing? Yeah, it, it, is, it is a fence. Yeah. Yeah, it's and not a box. No, but like it, it's a rectangle that yeah. we're in. Yeah. It's is, what the cast members call it. What do they call it? A box. Well, then that's, that's where the name comes from then. It's a really pretty view. Yeah. So we're definitely going to be lift A. Yep. Lift A to rocket platform. And a corral, yeah. Exactly crispy. It is kind of a corral. All right, guys, the elevators are coming back down. Now, this wasn't uh, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, right? This the Hollywood a, Tower of Terror? This isn't a trick to get me on Tower of Terror. Oh, no. That's true, Kevin Cody. You can settle into for certain restaurants. Okay, I think we're here. I think we've arrived. Right. Sisson, good to see you. Hey, James. And Matthew, Marty wasn't saying that we would certainly lag or anything. He was just saying that there was a chance of it. Yeah, just there, was just a, there was just a possibility. And just in case, uh, just everyone needed to be prepared for that. Just, just in case, because uh, we do have some lag issues. We've been having some issues with lag in big places. Yes. And so it's always a possibility. Please wait here. This sign in this next corral. Yep. Hey, Cindy Travis. Oh my gosh. I already said hello to Cindy Travis. I'm so sorry. It's a warm one. It's okay. Hey, James. Becca says that would be an epic spot for fireworks, except for the fire hazards from the fireworks. That's a fair point, Becca. It certainly would be. Hey, Jeff Setzer. Good to see you. Taller pilots must have 
the back end, smaller pilots must sit in the front. There is one seatbelt in every rocket that has to go around everybody, so if you're sharing a rocket, you are also sharing a seatbelt. Lastly, we have an event, backpacks, or other large items you do not wish to bring with you in your rocket. You're more than welcome to take it anywhere alongside the silver railing. Any questions? Enjoy your flight, guys. Pero si mañana no una. Becca said, and look, even a tiny people mover. <laughs> That's true. This would be an awesome spot to watch Tink fly. Oh no, Cindy was saying that she's never done this ride. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I was on here, really. It'll be interesting. Only one seatbelt per rocket. Yes. Are we going on the next? I think so, yeah. Because I think the rockets already have people now, right? Yep. Oh, you can see Tron from here, too. You certainly can. It's a great view of Tron. Beautiful night, Dave. Let's go open it. Hey, Dave. Hey, Sandy. Phil B, we are still at it. We are next for Astro Orbiter, guys. We are indeed. It does go fast to the end, so if you're wearing hats and glasses, best remove them. Careful with your hat, honey. Okay. Just don't forget about your hat, honey. I know, but like, okay. let's get a rocket. You got that one? All right, I'll go right behind you. Oh, there we go. All righty. Oh. JJ's like, I will look away. Huh? JJ said, I will look away. Oh no, JJ doesn't like this ride. Attention all pilots, to ensure a oh, safe gosh. flight, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, keeping your hands, arms, on here. feet, and legs inside. And please, supervise younger pilots. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado con el cinturón de seguridad ajustado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del coche. All right. Cuide a los pequeños pilotos. Gracias. Oh, hey, honey. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. <laughs> you look great too, brother. Well, thank okay. you so much. Ready? One, two, three. To make your rocket ship fly higher, pull back on the control <laughs> lever in front of you. 
To descend, just push the control lever forward. Thank you. Thank you. Pilots, prepare for liftoff. Do our best not to drop you guys, absolutely. Our name said, dude, it's comfortable for you. Ah, uh, you guys are like making me start to question this a little bit. How bad is this? <laughs> you. Here we go. All right, Gumbo. Let me shut you off. For this ride, you guys are just handheld. Whee! I don't know if I can get it up any higher here. Use my foot to do so. There we go. All right. Boy, I am crooked right now. Oh, there goes the contemporary. Look at the castle. Look at Sean. I can't. There we go. Look at the contemporary. Oh, we're moving fast. Oh, we're picking up some Astro Armor. Yes, that tilts. Monica's right here. Oh, my goodness. It pushes you way over. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna turn you back on to the gimbal again. There we go. All back to normal. Let's go ahead and step out on our left as soon as we can get out of the rocket ship here. There we go. Let me go help Monica. Okay, how do you get out of this thing? Not easily. Oh, God. <laughs> This is very difficult. <clears throat> so now you put, you get my back? You want me to take? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You got it. All right, put there, put there. All right. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. What we do you think? We can do this. Uh, oh, okay, I guess that is an exit. All right, cool. What happened? The view from up here is amazing. What do you think? I think it was fun. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> Marty Um is asking how everyone's feeling and uh JJ Mickey's like uh green face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. The tilt definitely added to the experience for sure. I know we are too Matthew's like what a coin flew though. I tried to get it to go up, but it wouldn't go up. Did you have to like hold it down? Yeah, I, I held it with my foot and had it come all the way up. But did you hold it, like, did you pull the lever forward? No, not forward. Back? Back. Yep. Oh. I tried doing it in both ways, but my thing, my rocket didn't do anything. Huh. I did have to hold it for a while oh, before Oh, maybe. Maybe I didn't have enough patience. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. All righty, guys. So that was the Astro Orbiter. Wow. Okay, so that's Astro Orbiter, guys. <laughs> uh, Bo Peep, my girl, says, this ride is on the Peep No Fly List. <laughs> the what? The Peep No Fly List. <laughs> Sandy Four said, the view makes my heart flutter. Let's get a selfie in real quick. Just to uh, let's say we did Astro Orbiter. Should I smile or do a scared face? <laughs> I'm not too. sure which. Oh my goodness, Puff and Breeze says time for teacups now? Oh goodness, I, you know, I don't mind teacups as much as, that was a little bit more intense. That was. 
So, honey, if I can have you take this real quick, yeah, I, I will uh, hand sanitize because I hope good. all those doors open. Well, for all of those uh, who have never been on Astro Orbiter, we hope you enjoyed the experience. Yeah, and we hope that and you guys got some idea of what it's like as well. Yeah, exactly. And Marty's like, does this mean one and done? <laughs> well, maybe, you know, there's a little bit of a break on it, but like, we'll do it in the future. I mean, if it's a walk-on in the future, it's kind of hard to say no to a walk-on. Yeah, walk-on, like, yeah. Nancy Gonzalez says, first time seeing Astro Orbiter, thank you. That's awesome, Nancy. We're glad you got to see it. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob, Mr. Disney MUK. All right, I think... Oh, Emma's here too. Hey, Disney M. Hey, Em. Good to see you guys. Hey, Barbara. Hey, hey Barbara. Angela. Hey, Angela. I think we have time for uh, the laugh floor now, if you'd like. Yeah, the laugh floor sounds fantastic. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's pretty, but terrifying at the same time. Right? I mean, you get amazing views from up there. Like, stunning, stunning views. Oh, yeah. Especially right now with the sky, how it was. Uh-huh. So pretty. Yeah, the castle was incredible. Uh, the fireworks are now at 920. Yeah, it's, it's not permanent per se, because it does change often with the season. But for the season, it is 920. Uh, that's primarily due to the fact that it's currently 840 and it's still not dark just yet. Oh. Cindy. Wait, are, you, are you okay? Oh, yours. Cindy Travis sent us a 499 super chat says, You two are so cute. Thank you for all you do. I'm definitely going to ride this with Caitlin next time I visit. That's awesome, that guys. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cindy. We really appreciate that, Cindy. Yes. We're glad you were able to see Caitlin again. Yeah. So, guys, right. we're going to go catch uh, the Monsters Incorporated Love floor. Stay tuned. See whether or not you guys uh, can get your jokes added to the, uh, to the, the show. show. Love floor is a 10-minute wait. Awesome. Let's go check it out. Oh, thank you so much, Joseph. We try to stream as much as we can. Uh, we have limitations just by technology in general. Yeah. But uh, we try to show as much as we can. Like when we were showing the, uh, the stage show earlier, we know that we uh, almost always lag out in the, uh, in the hub up there. It's very yes. difficult to show you guys the stage show. We were thankful that we were able to show a little bit of it, but you saw how we had to kind of hustle just to get that last little bit. The last firework, yeah. Yep. Thank you so much, Cindy Travis. We really thank appreciate you, Cindy. that. Let's hang a left and go enjoy some jokes before heading over to Sean. Todd says, I haven't been to anything, Disney, since 1993. We might be in Inglewood next year or something. That'd be really cool, Todd. All right. So we are still waiting in this room. Once we get the uh, the code word, we will let you guys know. Oh, Hannah says she missed the Astro Orbiter ride. How was it? The sky looked beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the sky was amazing. It was. The ride itself, hmm, I'm still pondering that. But oh, yeah. uh, how did you feel? Uh, it was fun. It was uh, a more intense Dumbo, really. Yeah, I mean, it's something we've never done before. And like um, Jesse said, like you don't ever see anybody doing that, so very glad we could bring that to you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, Matthew, there have been times that we've done the stage show and it's gotten super crowded, and there have been yes. times that there's been no crowd some, and we yeah. still kind of keep signaling for some reason. Sometimes it's super crowded, sometimes it's empty, and then the signal is still not like there for whatever reason. It's a struggle. Nettie Boo's like, Tron, Tuesday, activate. <laughs> exactly. Good evening, Cherie Marie. Good evening, Cherie. Hey, Dalshar, we are now at the laugh floor. We just got off of Astro Orbiter. We did. So yes, we are waiting to get into the Monsters Incorporated laugh floor. Fireworks are in 38 minutes. Yes. We will be watching them from over in the Tron area. Yes. And then we'll be getting on Tron. 
It's going to be a beautiful night. Tron Tuesday. Tron Tuesday. Sounds good, Cindy. We absolutely would. Uh, we unfortunately won't be over there uh, tonight. Oh, though. yeah, we won't be there tonight. We're going to be um, in the Tron area yep. for the fireworks tonight. No Stumpy sightings today, Josh. We never took the train today. Uh, we oh, did yeah. yesterday, though. Yeah, yesterday we saw Stumpy. Mm -hmm. Not today. There's so much to do in this park. We did back-to-back -back live streams. Yeah. And they're going to be seven and eight hours each, I think. Pretty much. And we were able to do all sorts of things that we didn't do yesterday, today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a lot. I mean, Magic Kingdom, there's so much to do. Even with lower wait times, it's difficult to do it all in a day. Agreed. Thank you. Yeah, Matt? Matthew, we found a, a location uh, over at Tron to watch the fireworks from where we're I able I thought you were going to say location at the secret base. At the secret base. The location to uh, see the fireworks from where we can also watch the castle. So we should be able to see, uh, might be able to see Tank as well. Yeah, we'll try our best for sure. Mm -hmm. Cindy says, I can't wait to ride Tron. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed Tron through our live streams so far. Yeah. So you can get on it yourself. Exactly. Stumpy was still there yesterday, absolutely, Terry. Yes. We may be golfer. Starbucks yesterday was delightful. <laughs> we did enjoy a Starbucks as well today. We did. <laughs> Josh R says Stumpy is always there. That is true. That's like his favorite hangout spot, I think. Hey, Terry. If you're wondering whether or not you can rely upon Stumpy, you can. He's solid. Would, didn't you agree? I was like, where's the, okay. <laughs> For those of you who enjoyed dad jokes, there was one. <laughs> oh, and speaking of jokes. Uh, get your jokes ready. Yeah. Uh, we will be uh, letting you guys know the code word as soon as we can. I'm seeing up on the uh, wall right now that the number is 42319 to text the, uh, text the joke to. And the keyword is ooze. Now, yesterday we had an issue where that was not the same keyword as what we encountered in the hall. Uh, so keep in mind, it may not be ooze. Uh, if, it's, if it's a different code word, we'll let you know the other code word inside in just a moment. Uh, if you are not charged by the text or anything like that, uh, feel free to use both, like uh, one and then follow it up with another text with the other code word. But uh, yeah, for now, that is 42319, code word ooze. Do you, think, do you think these numbers mean anything up there? I don't think so, because it keeps saying LOL. It says, oh, LOL. Oh, LOL. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, Dan. We love being able to take you guys along. That's this. All right, guys. So we are waiting for the Monsters Incorporated lap floor. Once we get in there, there will be about six or seven minutes uh, before they actually uh, bring us into the main room. Yes. It'll be the uh, pre-show and everything first. Uh, then the actual show itself it won't take too long. It's about 10 minutes, 12 minutes long, something like that. Um, so guys, if you enjoy that, uh, we look forward to bringing that to you. If you don't, bear with us. It won't be too long and then it'll be over. Yeah. And then we'll be heading over towards the Tron area for fireworks. That's going to be so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Marianne. Sonic says, what do you hear when a dragon sings the fire alarm? That's a good one. That is fair. I was just keeping an eye on the screen to make sure they didn't put the code word. Ooze. But you know, is it ooze? Well, that's what they're saying on the on the screen. But like mm. I said uh, earlier. Yeah, when we have, whenever we go into the next room, which is the pre-show room, the word usually changes. It, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> and uh, if uh, you guys want to go ahead and submit your uh, jokes to 42319, uh, code word ooze, and then your joke and your name and where you're from. Uh, if that doesn't work, We'll let you know what the code word is when we go into the next room. Yes. 
Oh, thank you so much, Golfer. We're at 462 likes. That's nice. amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, guys. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the likes, all the subscriptions. Like, really helps our channel out immensely. So thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to us. And guys, if you are new here, we are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Yes, all um, the time. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate it. It looks like we're going to be entering the uh, pre-show room very soon. Yeah. In the meantime, Mandy Paz says, where'd you get your bucket hat from? She loves it. Oh, thank you, Mandy. I got it over at... Um, I think the Emporium, right? Oh, no, no. It was, it was the store across the Emporium on Main Street, right, USA. Right, the theater. The yeah, theater, it was so, when they had the right. Vans collection there, but they uh, they still got of these hats like within the week. Yeah. So they disappeared fast. Yeah, but thank you. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Yeah, we should be in the pre show room here shortly. Mm -hmm. Oh, do um, maybe just a reminder we do sometimes encounter some lag in this next room that we're about to go in. That's true. Yeah. So keep an eye on your live indicators, guys. Ooh, if they turn gray, uh, go ahead and refresh and it'll uh, turn red again for you. Yes. Let's head on in there as soon as we're left. I think they're going to let in the lightning lane and then they might let us in. Right. Yes, Michael, we're definitely going to enjoy Happily Ever After. Mm -hmm. We're going to be viewing it from the uh, Tron area we after we leave the lap Let's look for that yep. code word. Go all the way down on the left side of the poles. Make sure you stop at the yellow line. If you get to the blue line, go on. Excuse yeah. me, do you know what the code word is? Uh, horn. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, it says horn. Okay. Yeah, it's horn. I was just asking the cast member because I remember last time they didn't show the, the code word in the screens up front. Right. Come on, move it along, people. Koala, welcome back. Hurry up! I've got better things to do! Alrighty, humans, make sure you stay to the left side of those silver poles, as those left side of the silver poles are for our ADA wheelchair guests only. Make sure you keep your party together, the doors will be open. Soon, make sure when you go into the lap floor to go all the way down that row as close to the aisle as possible. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes we just have to walk around until we get signal in here. Even if we stand still, unfortunately, we'll lose signal from time to time in this room. The next room, though, where the actual show is, we keep perfect signal, so we hope you enjoy. Attention employees, a blue technical was just found in the employee break room. If you have lost a blue technical, please call Lost and Found. Change has come, and the Child Detection Agency is now the Comedy Detection Agency. Not sure if something is funny? Call the CDA hotline and we'll be there in a flash. We know comedy is hard, so now the CDA is here to help, ready to drop in on a moment's notice to scientifically find and evaluate humor. 3.8 gigawatts. 4.7 gigawatts. 7.8. Agents are available day and night. No The future of energy is a joke. And the Comedy Detection Agency is here to help. The CDA. We take comedy seriously. Once again, humans, make sure we're moving all the way forward. Fill in all available space in front of you. We do not need to form a straight line. Make sure we stay behind that yellow line at all times. Fill in as much space as possible, please. Thank you very much. And Hello, my name 
is sweet, and I'm here to explain how to text the joke from your phone. First, go home and pick up your phone. Smitty, don't be stupid. They go home and can't see the show. Well, it's not my fault they left their phone at home. Oh, you ruined everything. So, Koala Bear, we will be streaming until after fireworks. Right. 
environment where we all care and share together. I'll bring glasses in rock comedy. Theatrical comedy. While others, yeah, they're just getting started. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's your future. It's your future. Who? It's your future right there at Monsters University. Ooh. All right. This is exciting. We're just about to open the doors to the last floor. Bring up the logo, guys! Alright, guys. Isn't it great? Yeah! I designed it myself. Okay, here we go. See you inside, everybody! So it is currently 9 p.m. Fireworks are at 9.20 p.m. How long is the last floor? Does anyone know? I did three mil tonight, Mario, absolutely. My internet's searching very slowly, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's really hard to get a signal in here. Here we go. Hang in there, guys. We'll probably lag right here. If we don't, it's a miracle. <laughs> well, how are you impressed? Ten minutes? Oh, we got plenty of time. We're good. Uh, Thank you, Marty. Yes, bring the little monsters in and find a seat. Sitting between two monsters. <laughs> There's not that many people. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> he likes to make funny voices. It's cute. There's not we'll treat many everyone to churros. Oh, that's awesome. Like a straight t-shirt, gonna treat us all to churros. Put your hands together for the financier of our free food. Oh. Hey. Oh. Yeah, look for that friendly face after the show for your free churro. Thank uh -oh. you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I said, hi, everybody. Hi. There you go. How you doing? I'm Buddy Boyle, and I'm one of the funny monsters here at the Laugh Floor. Do you guys know who your MC is? The monster of Ceremonies. The little green guy with one eye. If you know his name, shout it out. Mike Wazowski. Mike is correct. Here's what we're going to do. When I point to this side, you guys yell, Mike. Over here, Wazowski. Here we go. Mike Wazowski. Mike. 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 I heard it was Ask and I didn't point. <laughs> guess what, everybody? Guess what? That completes our mic check. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys laughed at the joke. You got me three gigawatts. Bonds can be so proud. <laughs> Even better, we got a dancer. Come on, Sophia. Let's see that dance. Look at them, they're all getting down without getting up. I love it. Give it up for the Buddy Boyle dancers over there. 
something very important. When a monster says hello, humans, proper response, throw your arms up in the air and scream like this. Ah! Arms up, scream really loud. Hello, humans! Ah! Oh, you guys got it. Are you ready to start the show? Oh, yeah. Then say, take it away, Roz. Take it away, Roz. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye, buddy boy, the answer. <laughs> See that giant canister? That's where we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. The less you laugh, well, we may not have enough power to open the exit doors. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. Though. I can tell we're off to a great start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lab floor! And now, make some noise for your monster of ceremonies, me, Mike Wazowski! Hello, humans! Ah. Oh, very good! I'm Mike Wazowski, that's Wazowski with one eye. Welcome to the lab floor. Now, if this is your first time in a monster world, there are a few things you should know. Like if I said, you stink to that guy, oh. it would be a compliment. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. See, now we're after your laughter. So the only one here who might make you scream would be Roz. <laughs> we like to call Roz the face that launched a thousand lunches. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Get away from Roz! <laughs> She's up on the screen, isn't she? Wazowski, you better fill the can this time, or else... Or else what? Or else this! My name is Ella. This is my little brother Sam. They call us Samadella. <laughs> my, my brother happens to be an expert in geography. Of the human world! What do you know about the human world? Oh, you see that map back over there? Yeah. I've been studying really hard and I know the capitals of every single one of them countries. For real? Even the orange ones. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, humans, I need your help. Shout out the name of a human country. Go ahead and yell it out loud. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. How about Canada? Oh, that's a good one. The capital of Canada is C. Oh, <laughs> capital C. You just got knowledge. Well, let's see what else you know. Uh, raise your hands if you know where you live. This could be anyone. Uh, not that guy. Oh. He scares me. Maybe he's just a figment of my imagination. I don't be, know. I'm not sure if he's really there. Well, let's find somebody else. Raise your hand up high in there if you're human and you remember where you live. All right, not many humans seem to remember where they live. Wow, oh, that's weird. Really, really concerned about this. However, there is a human who I think really wants to challenge you. Are you ready, my brother? Let's do it. There they are right there. This human is thinking about home, and they're going to challenge you any moment now. Hello, we're Sam and Ella. What's your name? Sam. Hi, Sam. Where are you? Oh, oh wow. Good name. Well, that's a pretty coincidence. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Texas. 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 Oh, Texas. Yeah, Texas, very popular place because it is a uh, teeny tiny Arctic island. Oh. It's very cold there. They're famous for their icicles, their <laughs> ice skating, and their evil tower. Wow, sounds interesting. Sam, is this right? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, nowhere near. <laughs> You're supposed to be an expert. I, that, that was a practice round. I was distracted. What do you mean? The two-headed human. There's no such a thing. Not Sam. Right there. What? Two-headed human. That is a miracle. Right? We could be cousins. Who knows? Well, let's find out. What are both of your names, please? Lexi and Isabella. Lexi and Isabella, where's home for you? Where are you from? Uh, Zephyr Hills. Zephyr oh, Hills. Oh, Zephyr Hills. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Zephyr Hills and Ease. I didn't know. Yeah, Zephyr Hills. 
Ironically named, there's no Zephyrs and there's no hills at all. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a flat desert region. Yeah, yeah, it's a very sandy full of kangaroos, koala bears, and the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I, thought the co I thought that was in Texas. It's a franchise. Oh, okay. uh, is this possibly right about Zephyr Hills? No. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you was in Zephyr Hills? <laughs> last time you were there. Do you remember? Today. 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 Earlier today? Yes. It's all changed since then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. In fact, I know Zephyr Hills is brand new nationally. It goes, oh. it goes like this. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, I know a place you want to be. It's very sweller. It's in Zephyr Hills with my new pals, Lexi and Isabella. so they'll know when I get it right. But don't worry, Diana. I am going to close my eyes so I can't hear you. 33. Have you told your number, Diana? Yes, I have. Did me hear a thing. <laughs> okay, Diana. Send me that number using only your thought waves. Oh, that's good. I'll make that face, too. <laughs> working, Diana, but you know what? I was getting a signal when you had your hands to your head. Can you put little antennas on top of your head with your fingers? Yes! Oh, I love it! Okay, now, Diana, concentrate on your number, scratch up your face, make this noise. <laughs> Give it up for Diana! <laughs> yeah! Diana, I got your number clear as a bell. It's 49. <laughs> Marty Wazowski. And when I grow up, I'm going to be 
be just like my Uncle Mike and become a jokester and go to Monsters University. I can't wait. And speaking of cool, my Uncle Mike just got some jokes she texted in tonight. Who wants to hear some? Come on, say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, cool. Hey, uh, let's see. This first joke comes in from Cindy from Florida. How much is a pirate pay to get their ears pierced? Everybody ask me how much. How much? A buccaneer. <laughs> <laughs> And this one comes in from Puff from Washington State. What kind of haircut do space rangers get? Everybody ask me what kind. What kind? A buzz cut. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's real short. But you know what I really want to do is tell a joke with a real life kid. If you're a kid, raise your hand up really high in the air so I can see you because I'd like to talk to a human kid. Let's see. You know what? I see a human kid over here on this side and a white shirt. And we're going to make some fun. I got a feeling. Hello over there. I'm Marty. What's your name? Reagan. Hi, Reagan. How are you today? Good. Awesome. How old are you, Reagan? I'm eight. No way. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you know? I want to be a person that wakes up at the zoo. At the zoo? That's wild. <laughs> I love zoo. Hey, um, what's your favorite animal? A uh, cat. A cat. Okay, let me think of a joke for you. Um, oh, what's a cat's favorite color? Do you know what it is? What? They like purple. <laughs> Do you ever tell jokes, Reagan? Not much. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? I got a joke I need your help with. Um, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Do you know why? Why? B because. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reagan, knock, knock. Who's there? It's that guy. Thanks for having me. Great job. I'll see you later, alligator. Give it up for Reagan. Thanks for talking to me. Okay, let's give the little guy a big hand. Wasn't he great? Let's do it, folks. We've got four minutes before the fireworks. Let's hustle over to Tron. Plenty of time, right? Did you want this like that already? Yeah. That way I can just transfer much faster. Uh, but like, maybe, What's I don't up? know. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go. He was a good that guy. Yeah, if I wasn't going to be that guy, at least it was somebody who actually appreciated being that guy. It's always good yeah. to be somebody who appreciates being that guy because they make a really good that guy. He did make a very good that guy. Who are you talking about? That guy? Yeah, that guy. Oh, that guy over there. That guy who was that guy, right? Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Aaron. Welcome back, guys. We're going to go and get set up for the fireworks. Over at Tron. I'm over at five. We're working with uh, just over two minutes now. Oh, Cindy Travis, her joke got picked. That's awesome. That's awesome, Cindy. So glad to hear that. Absolutely. I thought maybe it was Cindy, and I was like, we'll have to ask after the show. Erin, we haven't ridden Tron yet. We're going to go and enjoy the fireworks from the Tron area, and then we'll be getting on Tron shortly after that. Exactly. Guys, we are almost to the Tron area. Uh, Maple fireworks uh, don't start until 9.20. Oh, that's awesome, Cindy. 
All right, one minute. Let's go. Crowds have been relatively good today. They got a little bit more crowded as the evening went on. What's that? I was talking about crowds. Oh yeah. Pretty good today. Pretty good. Hello, Sean. Yeah, happily ever after begins at 9.20, but technically the fireworks don't start for about one minute. Yeah, we have one, one minute. one and a half minute after. Almost there, everybody. guys enjoy happily ever after oh, let's get you on
on here, everybody. There we go.
just hold it back to itself and we should be able to get it.
That's happily ever after, everybody. All right, we need to move quickly so that we can get in the line. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed happily ever after from the Tron area. Yep. Now we're going to get in line for Tron and try to uh, not be behind everyone else because we do need to chime in before 10 o'clock. All right. Park there. Did our boarding group get called? I don't know, did they? I don't know. I'll have to check. You never got the notification? Because I never got a notification. I don't know. <laughs> but it says we, it expired? Yeah. Oh. They never called us though. Weird. Okay. Well, we can try to go in. We can try. And then we'll scan in and see what's up. Yep. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, get everything put away and take a look and see whether or not they'll let us in. If not, we did write it yesterday. That's true. Um, and we got to see the fireworks over Tron, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, the fireworks from here were just so beautiful. Absolutely. I'll hold this. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see if uh, they let us in. If not, then we'll just have to do Tron another night. Yeah, and exactly, Kim. We'll just go check it out and see what's up. And hey, hey, Kim. Hey, hey, Kim. All right, let's see here. Yeah, it is weird, Kevin. <laughs> I am a tangled mess of cords right now. We're Sorry, very, everybody. we have a lot of cords happening. We'll get that all situated, we'll go in and see if we can scan in. Yep. And go from there. Exactly. There goes Tron, guys. Let's see. That back in the bag, which is always difficult. Yeah. Alright. But that was so pretty watching the fireworks from here again. It was. This is our second time enjoying Happily Ever After fireworks from the Tron area. Always so stunning. It is. And uh, epic music from Tron is awesome. Yeah. And if you're ever here and you, you, know, you don't mind this view at all, it's really nice in that you'll be able to breathe without uh, having to worry too much about uh, other people around you as well, which is really nice. I mean, it was a little crowded, but uh, nothing terrible. No. All right, guys, we're going to get into the queue and see whether or not we can get in. I suppose I don't need to grab my magic band yet, because that's only needed for the uh, actual uh, locker. All right, hang on. Sorry about that. Oh. 
Sorry for okay. that. So welcome to the Tron area, guys. We were able to buzz in. That's good news. Yeah, not sure what that was all about, but we're in, so very good. So we have heard that uh, some people have been having some issues lately with, uh, with Tron. We'll find out today whether or not uh, we'll be able to stream Tron. Uh, if we have any issues at all, we might be able to just put you guys in, uh, in the cubby, and if not, then well, that's, that's that. I do not have the chest mount on yet. You guys no. are still on the gimbal. Yeah. We'll transfer the chest mount at the locker. At the locker. I'm just trying to put my hat in my uh, backpack real quick. Gotcha. says, I saw this ride two days ago. Well, we just rode it last night, uh, Chris. So. and Grace says, they had to let you in. You have 322 people to vote for your good character. <laughs> says we actually uh, we were actually in Florida a little longer than we were supposed to be. We missed our flight on Monday. Sorry about that guys. Are you back home now then? 500 likes. Thank you so much everybody. We sincerely appreciate that. Thank you guys. That's good news. That's good news, Chris. Glad you guys made it back home safe. James J.B. Besson says, finally feeling a little better now over here. Thanks to Nyquil. Glad you guys made it on Tron too. That's awesome. Glad you're feeling better, James. Exactly. Sounds good, Koala. We totally understand. Have a wonderful night, Koala Bear. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today.
Chris says, Marjorie said uh, it was fate telling us we needed to stay in Florida. That's hilarious. So, golfer, because Tron is a virtual queue only, uh, there is no wait time. It's generally pretty brisk, though. Yeah. That's very true, James. And that's also very true, Marty. A day is, uh, each day is different, absolutely. Yeah. That is very true, Charlie, on that note. That's all. It works so well. <laughs> Everything went like purple? Yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, the big reveal, Chris? Yeah, that's, that's a really cool part of the ride. Welcome in Team Blue. Make sure we're getting all the way through the digitizer onto the grid. Hey, Ewan, hey, yes, we got the pumpkin yesterday. It was beautiful. Charlie did such a stunning, like, beautiful, beautiful. No pre show tonight. Oh, no pre show. Prepare to be digitized. <laughs> they did trick us. That's true. Oh, and 818, if you wanted to check out the pumpkin, uh, we showed it in the beginning of yesterday's live stream. Yep. We'll also be posting it on all the social medias later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Chris. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to get your stomach to churn on the Guardians. Yeah. 
and move the handlebars towards you. Hey, Margarita. Hey, Margarita. Strong lights like a lens is thrilling. High speed roller coaster type ride in the gyre. Making sharp turns with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Remember to kneel, lean, and pull the handlebars towards you. Supervise young Team Blue users at all times. The competition begins when Team Blue launches across the upload country and onto the grid. Your opponents will be there. To win, every member of Team Blue must cast your eight energy gates before their opponents. Stick together. It's your only goal for victory. In the light cycle, there are winners and there are losers. Are you? A green mic D. Tron at night is the best. It's so oh, cool. Yeah. With all the lights and everything. Interesting. Two, one, go. Welcome to Tron Light Cycle Run, the ultimate competition on the grid. Before proceeding to the sink chamber, all members of Team Blue must prepare. All users must secure large items, including backpacks, purses, and hats, in the locker portal before entering the grid. Lockers are just ahead. To open a locker portal, Tap your digital key to the illuminated activation point. Please be considerate of other users and only use locker space that your party requires. Remember your unit number. <laughs> oh no. That's funny, Chris. You will be piloting these special Sounds good, James Dodson. Have a great night. When the gate opens, follow your path on the floor. If you are assigned the bar vehicle, you must walk behind the light cycle. Remove phones, glasses, and other items that may fall off, and secure them in the storage area between the handlebars. To synchronize with your light cycle, kneel, lean, and pull the handlebars towards you. Tron light cycle run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Making sharp turns with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Remember to kneel, lean, and pull the handlebars towards you. Supervise young Team Blue users at all times. The competition begins when Team Blue launches across the upload conduit and onto the grid. Your opponents will meet you there. To win. Every member of Team Blue must pass through eight energy gates before their opponents. Stick together. It's your only hope for victory. In the light cycle map, there are winners and there are losers. Who are you?
That's a very good question, Chris. I don't know. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Keep restraints securely fastened. Supervise young Team Blue users at all times. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado en su light cycle en todo momento. Mantenga la barra de seguridad bien ajustada. Supervise a los pequeños del equipo azul en todo momento. We're almost at the lockers. At the lockers, we'll be taking our time to get it all set up and figure out how to do this. All right, so we are in the locker room. We need to find two lockers and then uh, transfer you guys to the chest mount. Five twenty-eight and five thirty-four. We could be these two right here. Oh, on top of each other. Five fourteen and five fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So now you put away mine first, and then we put away yours, since yours has a lot more intricacy. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so I'll be um, five fourteen. Okay. Monica's locker five fourteen. Can you grab mine? Oh, oh I was going to help you with everything here in just a second. Mickey, yours, go in there. Oh, come on. Have a good night, koala bear. Good night, koala bear. Um, my glasses. Mind putting my glasses with yours? Sure. Thank you. Five fourteen, guys. All right. And now I'm gonna help you with everything. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's first and foremost, let's have Monica take the gimbal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my locker didn't. Look at that. Make sure it's closed. No, I did. How weird. You That's continue on with okay. your. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna make sure my locker's okay. Yeah, it doesn't open. Okay. All right, let's see here. Got to get the chest mount. <laughs> of course, it's getting caught on the umbrella we never used. Yeah, let's put that back in there. All right, let's... I guess we'll put this on my back here. Oh, I can't do that. All right. Can I have you go down with the gimbal? Yeah. Because it's going to have to... Thank you. All right. All right, I'm going to put my microphone down. Are you turning it off? Yeah, let's go ahead and turn them off. We'll unplug the phone. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. There we go. We'll turn off the microphone. Alright guys, so we are going to be lockers 514 and 515. If you'll help us remember that at the end of the ride, that would be fantastic. This ride has a time for uh, making you forget things. Well, especially after Tron. It's interesting because you hear here all the lockers on the other side as well. Oh, do you? Yeah. Marty M says, we'll remember. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Only a couple more likes, people. Oh, thanks, Navy Seals. We're almost at 500 likes. That's fantastic. Thank you all so much. 
We really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. We're going to put you on the Be Right Back screen for just a second while we put you into the chest mount. Yes. Let's uh, also do this because I feel like we got smudged there. All right, good. Take them off and be right back. Put it on normal. Cool. All right, now I gotta disassemble this and put it all in the bag. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do you have your magic pen? It's or on the outside the of the bag. The watch does not well. Did last time I tried it, it didn't work. Gotcha. Let's put it in that bag there. All right, and then let's get this cord out of there. Stuff it in here. Sorry, everybody. This is taking a little extra time than normal. Good to go there, get the magic band. I'm 515. 515. Alright, let's check the regular watch and see if it works. I don't think the Apple Watch works. It's not reacting. Alright, so it has to be the magic bands? Yep. Okay. There it goes. You're 515. We'll get everything in the locker. Sounds good. Alright. Both bags in there. There we go. Let's close it up. Alright. Uh, yep, we're good. Alright, cool. Exactly, guys. Baby Yoda mode. Baby Yoda
talk like that, people are looking up your nose. <laughs> oh no, are you guys looking at my nose? Sorry about that. Okay, my nose wasn't visible, that's good. I hope. I was just trying to talk clearer into the phone as well. I get you. Okay. You want to trade sides so that you're on the Oh, that's the side, side with the mic. Yeah. I'm on the wrong side altogether. There you go. Oh, Kim is like, oh, oh Eric. I already said no. Oh, I almost forgot to ask for a uh, front row. Yep. Oh, no, Marty was answering the question from Chris. Gotcha. I'm so confused. Confused? I'm confused. All right, we're about five parties back now. Absolutely. Hopefully she gets uh, gets to feeling better soon. Definitely. 
Thank you, Wendy. cycle everybody all right let's see here heels first yep on your feet please what's that I think so yep Alright. 
So now we'll get our stuff and head on out to the area where we can see the other Tron cars going by. The other light cycles. Woo. Always leaves me a little winded. Yeah, that was crazy. I felt more intense than yesterday. A little bit. We're taking a left. Users, watch your step as you dismount and exit. Be sure to collect your belongings. Alright. Oh. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Alright hey guys, let's go get our stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh which oh no. Did you lose something? I got his phone in the little case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're beyond one with the accessibility. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Now, let's go get that stuff out of our lockers. Uh, 514 and 515, right? Yes, I think so. Okay. Let's go find it. Are we still alive? <laughs> Let me take a look. Hello, everybody. That was the second time riding it. I had to. Yeah, we're still alive. Excellent. All right. Hopefully, it's streamed well, guys. Hopefully. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Marty Thank you, guys. No lag. Oh, nice. Was it like super shaky like last time, though? I hope it wasn't as shaky as yesterday. Yeah. That's my one big concern. All right, let's see. 514, 515, right here. Okay, you want to uh, open yours first? Sure. Okay. Go ahead and get everything out there. And then we will take it. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I'll hold the locker for you. Thank you so much. That's everything? Make sure everything's out of there. Good to go. Okay. Yep. 515 is done. Now we're opening 514. There it goes. Let me hold your locker this time. There you go. All right, anything? Excellent, let's make our way on out to the main area. Watch yourself forward, forward yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Okay, here we go. That was awesome. All right, we are almost done here, guys. Let's get on out. Oh, the Sean area. We'll get out there to a bench. And get everything all situated. Get you guys back on a gimbal. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Let's do this, everybody. Let's see, is there a bench available? Aha! One available, perfect. Yay, we found a bench. 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 Found a bench. All right. Let's get you guys all situated here. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, we're going to put you on the Be Right Back screen and get you back on the gimbal. Just a moment, everyone. Uh, and we will just keep the uh, microphones unplugged. 
closure for the rest of the night, I think. I think we're good with just uh, using the phone from here. Good night, Wendy. Thank you for being here. And Mickey and Max said it was good stream. No lag, no shake. Awesome. Thank you. Not shaky, says Princess Lisa. Thank you. Magically Marissa says awesome stream. I don't know how you guys did it, but perfect skills. Thank you. Justin, Fre uh, Justin Frank said same smoother tonight. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate that. It has taken us uh, now four tries on Sean to, uh, to stream pretty well. Uh, in total, we've been on Sean eight times now, and it is an amazing roller coaster. Barney M says it's better than yesterday. That's that awesome. Great. It's good to know that uh, we're at least improving each time. That's that's what we're looking for. There is an on-ride photo on Sean Chef Skippy. There certainly is. Nettie Boo says 100 out of 100. Wow, thank you so much, Nettie Boo. Hey, Megan G, just got back home from dance and we're still alive. We are indeed. Patrick Julian says, that collage and the Mickey silhouette and the Be Right Back screen is fantastic. Well, thank you, Patrick Julian. Those are all pictures that Monica has taken of different parts here. And uh, we work together to get it on uh, the Be Right Back screen like that. We think it turned out pretty nice. I'm going to hand you over to Monica. I'm going to take off the HS mount now. Good night, Spectro. Good night, Thank you Spectrum. so much for joining us. Only a lovely day with you guys. at the end of a long day of live streaming so that does make sense that it would feel a bit more intense yeah oh well, Aaron Thor um, Thorson says good night you guys thanks for the stream as always but thanks for letting my fam give a shout out hello I think they enjoyed that see you tomorrow okay thank you so much Aaron thank you Aaron we hope your family had a wonderful day absolutely and if they see us during the rest of their trip tell them to please feel free to say hi and talk to you on our stream absolutely. that's awesome that is awesome. As for the rest of this week, guys, we still need to figure out our schedule for the rest of the week. 
uh, not 100% certain, so make sure you guys are subscribed and have hit that notification bell, set it to all, so you will know as soon as we know where we're going to be next. Exactly. Good night, Alicia. Good night, Alicia. It did feel sped, yeah. It felt it pretty did, fast. It did feel a little sped up. I don't know what it was, but it felt like more intense. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was crazy. Well, thank you so much, Allie Kay. My hair got like all pushed back. It's still beautiful. Oh, thank you. So guys, if you're new here, we are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now. Yeah. If you haven't already, please, uh, I almost said it that like button, but please uh, subscribe. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button if you enjoyed the things you saw today, as Ronald Lego would say. Yes. Uh, we'd really appreciate that as well, guys. We're going to be all over Walt Disney World for the foreseeable future. So if there's anything you guys want to see or do, feel free to come along in the future. Uh, we'll probably do it. Yeah. Right? So uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't already, again, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to have you along with us again in the future. I know I just said that. Have a great night. I don't thank you for playing the games today. I don't have an elephant's memory. Uh, Thank you guys. Yeah. We're gonna head, um, we're not done yet. We're gonna head over to uh, Main Street USA yep. and explore the stores a bit. That's the only thing that's open at this time, so that's true. we'll go enjoy that. Let's do it. Ooh, maybe grab a Starbucks water on the way. Or sure. hot dog water on the way. Whichever location may have water. <laughs> that would be good. Yep. Let's see oh, if we see Trump well, one more time here before we turn it back around. Good night, Buffy, my girl. Good night, Buffy, my girl. Oh yeah, we rode Astro oh, over right. there. Good night, Jenny. Good night, Jenny. There he goes. Oh, good night, J Mock. Good night, J Mock. Yeah, like if you guys have to go to bread, and we totally get that. It's yeah. it's late. It is. If you are heading out, we hope that you guys have enjoyed Tron Tuesday. Yes. I mean, it, it was Tron Tuesday. It was Tron Tuesday. We went on Tron. We did. It's Tuesday. And we saw the fireworks from Tron. Yeah, that was so pretty. It was. All right, guys, let's turn it back around and enjoy Tomorrowland. Yes. There goes one more time, but you really can't see it. So. Ah. Hey, Gans and Melissa. Good hey, to see Gans you guys. Oh, that's so pretty. What? The Tomorrowland music. Oh yeah, love the Tomorrowland music. And it's such a stark difference between uh, Tron and Tomorrowland. <laughs> Brian, that's funny. <laughs> oh, my phone wasn't charging and oh, it no. like, died again. Oh, you've got to unplug it from the uh, charger, that's right. I'll hold the gimbal if you could do that gotcha. for me, that'd be no great. Problem. Thanks. Uh, Nutty Boo, I always want coffee, but uh, water water sounds fantastic. So we'll see if there's any locations still open on Main Street. Yep. To eat, so we could get some water. Exactly. Oh, Bo Peep, my girl said, uh, my bad. I thought you guys were sending off. Oh, I thought Bo Peep was just saying good night. No, guys, we're staying a little bit longer. Yeah. We're gonna go explore the the stores on Main Street if you want to hang out a little bit more. Yep. We're in no hurry to get out of here because we know uh, it's not exactly the easiest uh, trekking back to the TTC at this hour. Yeah, the park's closed and there's just always a lot of people and it's nicer to leave when it's not super, super crowded. Yep. Oh no. Marty, was like hot dog water? Oh yeah, at Casey's Corner. So at Casey's oh, Corner, uh, if you ask for a cup of water, they'll give you a cup of ice water with ice in it. It's very refreshing, very cold. And uh, Tron, or Tron, there I go again. Ron. Ron. Lovingly refers to it as hot dog water. Yes. Because it's from the hot dog place, you know? Welcome back, Julianne. Have a great night, Jeff Setzer. Good night, Jeff. Shield 626 says, I like seeing the shops. That's awesome. Me Megan, too, Shield. <laughs> Megan said, I was so glad to see you all uh, still alive. I had a rough but still fun night of dance. 
I can barely breathe through my nose and I hurt my foot during one of our team dances. Oh no, oh, Megan. No. Hope you're resting your foot and glad you had a good time though. Absolutely. Run on the go says, run loves the hot dog water. <laughs> Admit it, Eric, you miss Tron already? I do. I really, really enjoy Tron. Zori says, hello, I'm back. Was watching on TV and I had to use the phone for another stream. We totally understand, Zori. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back, Zori. Julianne says, I'm glad you're still alive. Well, we're glad you're here with us, Julianne. Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us a little bit longer. The park is closed, but the shops on Main Street stay open a little bit longer. Yep, exactly. I tell you what, every single time we get on Tron because we have to leave everything oh, behind. Oh, are you okay? There's water that just fell on my phone. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Look at all the water. Look. See all that water? Oh wow. It was like a lot of water. I hope that it didn't get in water. my phone. Huh. Was that just uh, from us crossing underneath the uh, Tomorrowland sign? Tomorrowland sign? Yeah. Yes. Is that good luck? I think that's something else. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello, Estefania. Welcome in. Let's see if we can find our way. Oh no, Megan said most of us hurt something at some point tonight. My teacher actually said stop hurting yourselves. It's so easy to do. Casey's Corner is closed. Yes, it is. The doors are closed and everything. Mm -hmm. So that will not be an option. Well, let's go see if oh, Starbucks is open. I keep running into them, sorry. It's okay. Hopefully Starbucks is still open. If not, we have water when we get back to the car. Yep. James Beal, we're not sure where we're going to be tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell so you know when we know where exactly. we'll be and uh, if we're streaming or not. Yeah. No, please be open, Starbucks. Uh, that's not super promising looking. Let me in. Yeah. I'm a solid customer. No, they're closed. Are they closed? Yep. Yeah, if the doors are closed, it's closed. Why do they even have these if they're always empty? Oh, no. Like, it might have been full earlier, but there's just a lot of people that passed through, you know? Stores are open. You want to head to a store real quick? Yeah, we'll um, go straight across here. Sounds good. So they uh, closed uh, Starbucks and Casey's either at 10.30 or 10. That's good And enough. the ice cream parlor was closed as well. Oh, was it? Yeah, because I was thinking about that location. You just need to stay on my right side, honey. Yeah, um, try and I get you. Smooth Let's Play says, Good morning from Germany. I have to say, I like you and Ron. You try everything to show us everything, and I find you very likable. Well, thank you, Smooth. Thank you very much. So these are the ears? These are the Munchling ears. These are mini inspired. Have strawberry, fluffy bowl. Like a strawberry whipped cream here. That's the back side. And these are mentioning ears. Yeah. Aren't they cute? They are cute. Is there right. a price on them though? Uh, I didn't see one. Oh no. Yeah, they're not uh, not labeled with a price. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on any of them. Uh, if I had to guess, $39.99? They're cute. That's cute. We have Chip on this side and Dale on this side. So guys, uh, the parks 
Well, I mean, uh, Magic Kingdom closes at 10 o'clock tonight. And it's been closing at 10 o'clock because of the season. Uh, so everything else uh, closes usually an hour after, like uh, the stores at least. Uh, but it looks like Starbucks and the uh, food locations closed oh, the, earlier than that. Are you okay? No. If I say ow, oh, I'm not okay. I'm sorry, honey. All the restaurants closed. I got like a cut with the plastic. Oh, I get you. But yeah, this is just a, like a storage container. This is $29.99. Gotcha. It's lots so. A little strawberry. It's cute. Isn't it cute? Pretty. This one is roll with it, honey bear, honey cake, white chocolate, cinnamon, and honeycomb. And that's These, a chocolate bar you said? Yeah. Interesting. The chocolate bars cost five forty nine. They're three ounces. Other two chocolate bars, Chippendale Double Trouble, and Chillin' Like a Villain. You got Dark Chocolate Ganache Truffle, and Winter Mint Gelato. Pretty, pretty cool, awesome. right? Oh, let's not forget these. Milk Chocolate Marshmallow S'mores. How fun is that? It's like, oh, a, it's little, like a little... It's like a little oven. It's really cute. I didn't. I never realized that. We've seen this a couple of times now, and I have not. I've not put two and two together that it's an oven. Yes, it's an oven. Let's see. The price on the s'mores is fourteen ninety nine, and that's six ounces. Was there any questions about anything? Nope. Okay. And then you have the faux succulent stitch munch link, of course. He is. $24.99. That's the back side. That's the front side. Isn't it cute? That is very cute. <laughs> Deputy Van Halen says, Is that candy made in China? I wonder. I will answer that if it says it. Made in the USA. Yeah. Distributed by Disney Theme Park Merchandise, Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Yep, made right here. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, you have the Munchling water bottle. I love it. You got Mickey Cinnamon Roll on top. And you got all the characters on the bottle. This retails for $39.99. <laughs> I love this. So cute. Especially little Eeyore. Oh. Really cute. Do you want to go to the other side? Don't forget to show the wall of Baymax s'mores. The like, wall how, of like, Baymax. This is the wall of Baymax s'mores. Mystic Parks is here. Oh, if you see us, please say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Come on we over. love saying hi. Well, if you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> Baymax is cute. Isn't he? I, I, like, I love it's calling this the, like, the wall of Baymax more. It's like, so cute. Oh, here's the keychain size. Oh my gosh. So you have Minnie Mouse. These are keychains. You get two for the price of $16.99. I love the Mickey. So cute. That is. And the mini. And then of course you have Chip and Dale. I love these two. Aren't they cute? They are. I would totally put this like on my bag. <gasps> Look at the Donalds and the Pluto. <laughs> I, I, oh my goodness. I can't pick, like I love them all, I really do. They're very kawaii. They are. How adorable. And the last one. What happened? So do you just say that microphone's picking you up good? Sorry. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, I, dropped, I, got, oh, I dropped my phone on the, the people over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it just came out. I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> you get a haircut? Yeah. Nice. Shaved it, it all off. Was it the heat that did it for yeah. you? Yeah. You gotta cut yeah, yours. I gotta <laughs> shave my head too, yeah. We've been, like, talking about Yeah. <laughs> Guys. Sure. Guys, this is Mystic Parks. What's this up, is Eric. Eric's option. Eric and Eric. Eric and Eric. Yeah. Eric, 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 and Eric. <laughs> oh, man. So you, do you spell it the same the way? The URIC? Yep, the URIC. All right, cool. The right way. <laughs> I, I saw somebody named, uh, was on, on, the, um, on the news, his name was spelled with an A. A-R-I-C. Yep. 
And I was just like, that's interesting. I grew up with <laughs> There's a kid a lot who. There's a different spellings. There are. I grew up with a kid who spelled it A E R I C K. What? Yeah. All the letters. <laughs> All the letters. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's two names in the history. It's Corey and Eric are the two well-known names that are spelled 15 different ways. Pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Well, I'll let you guys get back to your thing. Have you had a good, good day? Seat? Of course. It was a magical one. <laughs> Other than, uh, but it was in the vehicle, right? Yeah, it's all good. Okay. Thankfully, okay. I didn't drop it out. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's what's important. Are you guys have a good one? You have too, Eric. Right? Thanks for saying hi. All right, guys. So this is the last set of the Munchlings keychains. This is Eeyore, who is my favorite. He's so cute. Look at his little tail. Oh. Adorable. Okay, so like if I had to get one right off the bat, I guess I would get this one because of Eeyore. The way the is cute, I just I feel like they could have done this much cuter. Like in comparison to the rest of the Munchling keychains, like come on. Like I feel like they're slacking with the Winnie the Pooh cuteness. And how much did you say they were? Sixteen ninety nine. Sixteen ninety nine each. And you get two. And you get two. Yeah. So that's not terrible. Aren't they cute? And then these are the ornaments. The ornaments are very cute. Twenty two well. ninety nine is the retail price for them. So this is the Mickey, and I'll just bring you all the characters. Here's the Minnie. So cute. Here's Stitch. And guys, if you're wondering, Stitch is an upside down pineapple cake. He's very cute. And then there's Winnie the Pooh. I just feel like they could have, like I love on the ornament the sparkliness of it. I just yeah. think they could have done. A lot cuter for Winnie the Pooh. My personal opinion. It's very cute though. Oh, it's still very cute. My favorite Eeyore. Oh. I know. I kind of wish he, they made him smile though. But, but it's he, very Eeyore, his face. It his is. Expression. He's my favorite. Oh boy. Yes. And then. Oh, there's more. We have more. We have these large, large pens. But wait, there's more. These are a set of four. They retail for twenty nine ninety nine. I I like how they reveal the rumps on the other side. <laughs> the grand rump reveal. I'm not smelling these rumps. They're not. <laughs> they're not scented. They're not scented. So you have Winnie. You got Chip. Chip. You got Eeyore. You got Dale. That's cute. Very cute. I, I wish like along the pens like they had um, a design or something. Something. Exactly. And then here is the journal. They call it a notebook. It's nineteen ninety nine. See, look, I want something on the back. I want a design on the back, not white. Like just copy this and put it back here, guys. That's all. I love all the tabs up yeah, here. Yeah, tabs are very cute. <gasps> they have boogie boogie, <laughs> and Baymax Moores, and then you are so cute. Love it. Okay. Let's move on. All right. What are we looking at next? Uh, farewell, Munchlings. Farewell. <laughs> I love you, Munchlings. All right. So this is the brand new Pride collection just oh. released, I think. Was it today? I think so. All right. Because so, I don't remember this yesterday. I, For one, I love, love, love the ears. The ears are so colorful and beautiful. This is the spirit here. Super colorful. It's very thick though. Hmm. Mickey's yeah. cute though. It's not exactly what you want to be wearing right now. No. It's very hot, but like it's really cute. I was smelling something strange. I think it's a spirit jersey. Oh. <laughs> Do you oh. smell it? I smell it. I, I think it's just the I whatever it was I stored think it's, in. Oh, I think it's the material here. Oh, that makes sense. Like the rubberized material. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very pretty. Very colorful. Mm -hmm. And it's celebrating pride. So. It's kind of psychedelic. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Oh, here the ears lower. I love these ears. They're so beautiful. Always a pleasure, Mr. Parks. Yes. Thank you so much for saying hi. Have safe travels back home. Oh, smooth. Let's play. Says, have a nice day, everyone. It's 4.45 and I have to get to work. Oh, my goodness. Bye safe have travels. Fun. Have a wonderful day at work. Thank you for popping in. Absolutely. All right. I'm just trying to show these more pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, these are like a faux leather. They have a little bit of fluff, which is nice. And it says Disney Pride here on the side embroidered. Oh, that's very nice. I love the, the touch of Mickey right there on yeah. the yellow and the heart. I love it. Very, very nice. Moving on, you have the button down shirt. What? I feel like I need the shirt with giant glasses and like a 
a fake like a what's his name? Um, you're not gonna get this. Shirt. Bob Ross <laughs> hairstyle. It's Sixty dollars. Sixty. Okay. Well, I, I think a lot of people have but. tried it on. Oh, you're making a mini in this one though. Oh, that's cute. I would like this shirt for you. But I don't know if you would want this shirt for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, definitely not for $60. Oh, not for $60. But it is pretty. And then we have a t-shirt. Montelongo, absolutely. Have a great night. Montelongo says, thank you both for the videos that, uh, for those of us that will never make it there again. Well, oh. we hope that uh, you feel like you're here with us because yes. that's really our intention. Our, have a great night sure. if you're taking off. Thank you so much, Montelongo. Thank you. And then this shirt, guys, is $29.99. I do wish it wasn't just black, though. I wish they had other color options because this is very hot with the Florida sun right now. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder, Ron. Ron said, don't forget that the tram stops running at 11.30 to your car. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Ron. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, well, these are very, very thick shorts. Why are they so thick? Weird. They have this fuzzy material inside. This is not made for a Florida summer. No, not for, not for right now. But they, they seem comfortable. I'm going to try they. They are $40. Mm. That's a pass for $40 for me, but they are very cute. They are very cute. I like them a lot. The I bag like is cool. Look at the backpack. Okay. Not going to lie, the quality is not great, but uh, it's really cute. Where's the price? $40. There's no back support. The straps don't have very good cushion. But it is very pretty. I just wish they would have done something about the quality. I get you. But very pretty nonetheless and yeah, colorful. Some, some foam on the back or something would be good. Yeah. And then the last, well, one of the last things here. Oh, this is ruined. Oh, no. This is plastic and it's a... It's a serving tray of some sort? Yeah, it's a $29.99 serving tray. So like this. That's really pretty, but like... Why, why are you selling stuff like this? <laughs> it might have happened today. It might have happened today, for sure. And then, last thing here. And then, oh, ooh, look at the glitter. <laughs> that is fun. How much is this? No price. All right, does it work? Do you guys feel oh. fanned? Do you guys feel the air? Eric, that, I mean. I feel it, it feels feel great. <laughs> I'm like, tell me, do you feel it? Because I can't feel it from my side. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wait, where that's a lot of work, though. That is a lot of work. <laughs> that's hey, fun. Hey, Olive Garden. <laughs> hey, Olive Garden. We love your restaurant. Right. All right. What other merch do we have? Oh, for the pets. Oh, okay. oh wow. Oh, you're good. I love this Panther. $29.99. It's stainless steel. That's fantastic. It has like a matte finish to it, which is really yeah, cool. This is so pretty. Let's check out it inside. Oh, stainless steel. That's awesome. That is awesome. It's really good quality. This is great for the parks, guys. And super pretty. Like if you're ever like, you don't have to like look too much. It's like the colors pop, you know, you'll find <laughs> it easily. So that's, that's really nice. I like that. And then you have... <gasps> Pride Stitch, oh my gosh, with the little heart. <laughs> reminds me of Powerpuff Girls. It reminds me of, uh, what were those stuffed bears with the hearts on them? Care Bears? Care Bears. Yeah, this is $34.99. They did such a good job with this year's Pride Stitch. I love it. Oh, so pretty. It's cute. Isn't it? Oh, and then here's the mug, $19.99. Good size. It's one of those wrap ones. Uh, does it have a seam like where it continues along the handle here? Yeah, it's closed up. Oh, but it's closed up well. That's nice. Yeah, this, they did they did these very very well. Great job, Disney. And then you have a bottle closer, a bottle stopper with Mickey on top. Oh, I like that. How much is it? Nineteen ninety nine. Well, maybe a little pricey for what that is, <laughs> but it is really cute. It is. I like that. Oh, Megan says that's like the water bottle I got from Port Orleans, but mine is pastel pink. It's a great water bottle and doesn't break when it's pastel dropped. Pastel pink? That sounds beautiful. I like this shirt. It's a little bit thick for right now, this temperature. Too. Just oh, a yeah. little. A little. It's 100% cotton. 
It retails for $30. That's really pretty. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see. Oh, that's a really nice color. How much is this? $30. The long believe be proud. I love it. Yes, Princess Lisa. Princess Lisa says, you guys definitely had a cooler day today than your last day at Animal Kingdom. Oh, yeah, that was a very hot one. Bucky says, tram is over at 1130. Yep, thank you, Thank guys. you, guys. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up before I let... What time is it now? It's 1054. Oh, we got plenty of time. Yeah, that's plenty of time. So this is the blanket design right there. Again, it's kind of psychedelic. Yeah, it's very fun, very whimsical, very colorful. $44.99. It is a long walk. It wouldn't be our first time either, Bucky. Oh, no. We've made that walk before. Hey, CNM Custom Signs in the house. Hey, CNM. There's a Mickey Pride plush. How much is it? $29.99. Oh, that, that's adorable. I love the shoes. <laughs> I think I love the shoes the most. And the heart. I love, no, I love the heart. It's embroidered. It's it very, is a very, very powder, uh, I almost said powder puff. Power Puffy uh, heart, for sure. Now, this is not part of the Pride collection, but it was just sitting there, so I might as well show you guys. Right. These pens are fun. They're fun. You got like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Pascal, Flounder. What is that? Moana, Jasmine. How much are these? $19.99. Well, not a little pricey. You get more pens than they do for the uh, Munch thing. Well. <gasps> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Those are fun, though. A little onesie for Newport. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's so cute. How much is this? $19.99. I love it. It says love on it. I love love. So like, look, it's got rainbow stitching. Oh, it does have rainbow stitching. I love the rainbow stitching. That's beautiful. That's Great a, job, Disney. Some detail there. Yes. Great job, Disney. I don't say that often, but that's, that's beautiful. And then you have these shirts for kids. Yep, the accompanying youth shirt. $19.99. I love the blue. And then you got the hoodie. A little bit more pricey. $64.99. This is great for the winter time. <gasps> there's oh, a design awesome. on the back. Yes. Good job. I was like, I hope there's something on the back. And there is. Very good. And then you have these pins. Oh, these are cool. Marvel. Star Wars. The Millennium Falcon. You got Mickey. Mickey, Mickey. <gasps> Miss Piggy, what's you doing here? <laughs> Fierce and fabulous. That's hilarious. Isn't it? I love the castle as well. And they got the Millennium Falcon, all the Mickeys. Megan, and then a I necklace. will have you know that Florida has at least one day of winter. That's fun. That's Very fun. pretty. All right, so that's the brand new Pride collection. I think it released today. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then show the things for, um, these are the spirit jerseys for if you have, uh, pets. They, aren't these cute? They are. All right. All right. The store is closed in three minutes. Do you want to head on out to Main Street then? I think that sounds great. Sounds <gasps> good. Wait, one more oh. thing. One more thing to show. I can't leave without showing this. Look at this. I need this in my life. Mine? Mine? This is the Mine? Finding Nemo spirit jersey. Mine? How Mine? much? Oh, no price. How awesome. I would love this spray jersey. So cool. I love the tie-dye. Okay, we can go now. That's a really cool spray jersey. All right, guys, let's come on out to Main Street. Do, 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 do. Do you want to go use that trash can? Uh, either way, the trash cans, we don't really see the castle, so I think we'll just uh, stand. Okay. Oh, sorry. Alright, so let's turn it around. Okay. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the merch search. Yeah. That was fun. We hope you guys enjoyed Tron Tuesday in general. Thank you so much for being here with us today, guys. It's yes. been a long day. We've been here since 3-something. And yeah. it is now 11, so pretty solid day. 
thank you for being here with us, guys. We really appreciate that. Kevin Cota said, T-minus eight days until he gets to see that view. That's awesome, That's Kevin. Wonderful. Oh, man. 550 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank we you really guys. appreciate that. It has been a very exciting day. Absolutely. Marty, and we're really glad that you enjoyed it. Zori, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I want to make sure we're... What happened? Are we in their way? Yep. <laughs> All right. So, guys... Thank Wait, you where's, so the there's the gas. Okay. I was like, I don't want to block the beautiful castle. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. We really appreciate it. We are not sure what we're doing tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll let you know as soon as we know, as soon as we figure it out. Yes. Uh, and outside of that, guys, um, let me think here. Let me see your phone, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. We do want to thank all of our members, all of our Patreon members as well. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who gave us a super chat. We sincerely appreciate you guys. A super sticker. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for all the Venmos. Thank you for everything, guys. And thank you for all the, um, first and foremost, thank you all the moderators, because we cannot do this without you guys. So thank you so much. Um, and thank you to all the YouTube channel members, all the park hoppers, bucket hatters, bucket hatters and sparkly eyers. We appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you to all our Patreon members. We appreciate all the support, guys. And thank you for everybody who was in chat and all the ninja watchers. And to everybody who said hi to us in the parks. That was really awesome too, yeah. Yeah. So I am currently setting up a redirect. Since we don't have a live stream up for tomorrow yet. Yeah. Uh, at the time being at least. We're going to send you guys over to uh, Ron on the Go's live stream for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night he's going to be doing both Epcot Forever Fireworks and Phantasmic in the yes. same night. That's going to be exciting. It is. We did that once before. We took the Skyliner in between. Yeah. So it'll be really interesting to see how he pulls that off, guys. Uh, so we have set that up. Should be good to go. So at the close of this, everybody, uh, just head on over there. Hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Say uh, in the chat, hey, Ron. Mark Copperson is here. We'd appreciate that, guys. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow one way or the other, whether we are live streaming or in Ron's chat or wherever else we are, guys. Yeah, we'll post our next uh, when we're going to be up, back up, whether it's tomorrow or Thursday. Exactly. It'll be one of those days that will be next. All right, guys, have a wonderful night, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Ron's like, no way, I know the park hoppers. <laughs>